What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the podcast. Today, we're talking to Past Comfort again, and I met these guys just around a year ago. I don't even think it's been a year yet. We talk about it on the podcast here, but I can't really remember when we met. I know it was right around the same time they did the first episode with me, and a lot has happened to them in the last few months and we sit down and talk about all those wonderful things and a lot of new things. They're going through some changes. And I think it's awesome, man. I think they're growing as a band and they're getting tighter and tighter. Every time I see them, they're better than the last time I saw them. And I think you guys are really going to enjoy this episode. A lot of new information. And we talk shop about some musical things, too. Uh, enjoy. Enjoy. Yeah, I got the one beer. <laughs> I'm being said, stingy. <laughs> What's up, fellas? How's it going, buddy? My whole now. soda in the floor when we got here. You did. <laughs> he did. That's what's up. It was a big gulp too. Like it, it was. was it liter, was completely full. A liter of cherry vanilla, Dr. Pepper. It's gonna be there oh, for the rest so of great. our lives. I didn't know what it was. I just knew it was a soda. That makes me almost as upset as Adam Sandler not getting nominated for an Oscar. He didn't. Who? That's crazy. It's not because Oscars are bullshit, but. At the same time. Talk about Corey being stingy with one beard. <laughs> beard? One beard. beard. I don't have a beard. The Oscars are being stingy. Yeah, well, they're terrible anyway. Yeah. And he deserved better. I'm not even going to get into All right, that's it for me. Shit. See you guys later. All right, yeah. bye, Kurt. <laughs> anyway, past comfort, <laughs> round two. What's round up, Hey, last time y'all were here, yeah. we didn't know each other. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I was just talking about that when we were Man, like pouring friends. up and talking about like, they were oh. like, what did you guys talk about? What were we going to talk about? And I was like, well... It's going to be a lot different than last time, because last time, March? like, we sat here and talked afterwards for, like, three hours, yeah. just, like, getting to know each other. And, and stuff, then we so. became best friends. That's right. Now we're all best and friends. Now it's, it's been, what, like, nine months That was, like, right after together. the tour in March, wasn't it? The first it's time it's we probably been, like, eight, nine months since that happened. Mm-hmm. So At okay. least. About we had a friendship <laughs> baby. <Nice>. What? <laughs> what? After what nine months, we had, our baby was finally born. <laughs> we are hatched, and we are back again. <laughs> And a friendship was born that day. Yeah, for sure. Burtful. It was, yeah. I'm proud. We played some it. sold out shows it together. Yes. Like what? Yes. Le- yeah. two, we had a two? couple of parties together. A couple of them. Yeah. <laughs> two? Very, very good times. <laughs> yeah. It was a good year. We saved your Solid life the year. other night. I don't think that's true. <laughs> uh, we don't have to talk about that, but <clears throat> pretty sure I was holding my own. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Huh. I can't contest that Pass Comfort did save his life. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. oh, I don't think he knows. Said, hey, gone. stop. I, I didn't even know you were there. <laughs> like, we were like, Corey, no. He turned around afterwards and we were don't. standing there. We were like, we got you back, buddy. <laughs> we're just going to stand here with our hands on our hips. Yeah. You were about to watch a massacre is what you were uh-huh. about to watch. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's what I thought was going to happen. I, I wasn't worried like was about you. I was worried about the other guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's usually dude. how it goes. <laughs> Poor bastard. It worked out, Fuck though. him, though, honestly. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> hey, that Spartan kick was tight, though. It was tight. <laughs> but that's the first move, man. I go for the flamingo leg first. Because if you can snap that knee back, fight's over. Oh, yeah. yeah I watched that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He hit that but one. he fell. <laughs> yeah. Also, his fighting stance was strange. Yeah, was he was, like, strange. down low. Like, he was going to punch up at me. Which he was going to have to, anyway, because I'm two Matt, feet taller so than he was. way bigger than that guy. Kind of funny. Let's talk about happy shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What have you guys been doing all day, huh? Wink. We filmed Wink. a music video <gasps> for our uh, new single that we're going to drop in like March, I guess. Probably. March? March. Something like that. Just takes time. No, tentatively. No, no stone date. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. It's done. We set the song still off working to out the New York for mastering yesterday, so Ooh. we'll be getting that back in a couple weeks. Hell yeah. Yeah. Well, y'all are very good. definitely a different approach than we are. <laughs> we're 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 doing things a little different than we did last year, so mm. that's the plan a little bit at least. So. Just take your time, part take of the Take your plan. time, make Try it to better. Make sure everything's, you know. We want to do it right if we're going to do it. Sure. And you got a tour you just announced? Yes, sir. Texas. Going to Texas, yeah. our, one, one of our start. favorite places to go. Really yeah. excited to go back. Yeah. Sweet. We're going all the way to the border of Mexico. A couple dates with Go for Gold. That's going to be super are you really? sick. You're going all the way to the Mexican border. We are actually playing McAllen right on the border. It's just like way down in south. It's like 
close to Brownsville, I think. Yeah. Nice. When we yeah. saw um, Voices in Vain the other day, he told me if you like get on top of your van on the ve- like in the parking lot, you can look and see the Mexican border from the oh, venue we're playing cool. at. Like we are right there. That's cool. I've never been. So. Have y'all ever been to Mexico? No. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's uh-uh. cool, man. I don't even have a passport. I've been to Canada. Well, I once. went before you had to have one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> Time it was fun though. It. It's cool, man. I'm excited to get it. They party like crazy. Sure. I don't know if we're actually gonna make it into Mexico. <laughs> no, nah, we'll die. Y'all probably <laughs> wouldn't do very well in Mexico. They yeah. like heavy music, man. Yeah. And I'm just. I don't. I me. literally um, have no idea. Yeah. What this is a podcast? What, about Salina, camp, but what I'd expect about <laughs> what they like Salina. That's true. Selena. Yeah, she's from dude. Mexico Selena City. is awesome. She's from Mexico City. I'm pretty sure, right? Wasn't she I brutally so. murdered? <laughs> That's yeah. besides the point. <laughs> Why do we keep getting sad? It's y'all's new sad um, shit. Anyway, y'all are sad boys now. No, we're not. Just keeps bringing up terrible. Yeah, terrible what the yeah. fuck? I was are you talking, talking about, about Como la Flor, <laughs> <laughs> Soda on the Floor. <laughs> That's like one of my all-time favorite songs. That's good. Hey man, it was not the inspiration for show. a new song though. Yeah, yeah anyways, we can talk what? about that. Let's talk about that. I guess. Let's do it. Let's um, get a little on track here. So like. People keep asking us like what the new stuff sounds like, and like it still sounds like us, but it sounds like us doing something really different from what we have done. It's like I don't know. I don't want to like get into the details. I want people to still like get to experience yeah. the surprise. But if you want to know like what kind of like something similar that inspired it, I would say like we listen to all of us listen to like this band called Honey a lot, Hippocampus, and like old school like the 1975 all very new bands so i don't know if that makes any sense but like not to me but probably the people listening maybe if you uh, we don't really like labels but if you want to throw a label on it it's kind of indie i guess no, no band does indie yeah really? it's, it's pretty indie rock i guess compared to what we've done yeah cool so we've always been a band that's like felt like we want we just want to do whatever we want to do when mm-hmm. we feel like doing it with our sound and with our music and like with what we're producing. And this is kind of like a big step in being like, we're one just finding our sound mm-hmm. as a band. Like For still, sure. like it's been a, it's been a wild year and we've released a lot of music and figured out a lot about who we are and like what we like to do and played, you know, gotten some good opportunities and got to, you know, grow and figure out like who we are as a band and all of that. So like, How long this have is really. Been a band? I mean, I've been in the band like, since right at two years. I was the two last years. one to join, and I've been around since like summer of 2018. So like, oh yeah, you got lots. Of not not very long. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Especially and we've been around for almost 13, and we're still fucking trying. To <laughs> you know, it just happens like that. You know, gotta figure it out. We're and you know, we're all really excited about where it's going. You know, got to sit and do a music video for the first time I've gotten to do one. So I, it that was a cool experience and. You know, just we're really trying to take ourselves like right. a little more seriously. So you took some of the heavy vibes out for sure, completely. I would almost completely. Say yeah. it's it's yeah. gone. Yeah. Now the drummer over here does that mess with you, or are you like because no. you can do? No, more he's cool. I'm having, having the fuck I'm having off, tons of dude. fun because this harder. stuff is just yeah, like the groove more, more is real. Yeah, cool. This is definitely like the most complex stuff I've played. Like in Isn't that comfort, strange? For sure. He's like Chong's how like the, you can go softer, but if the drums get wilder, it's like okay. Yeah, I mean it's it's people. Don't, a lot of people don't know that like Taylor's like classically trained on he's the drums. A bad yeah, like he he's he's played in marching band and stuff his whole life, and then went to college and was in like the second best jazz band in the country. Really? In colleges? Yeah, dude, UAM has like an incredible jazz program. Like a lot of people don't know. And that. And this it, guy was I was like four street and jazz band. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. it's just cool to like. I'm definitely getting to like play stuff that's a lot different than i've played right for sure hell yeah so More jazz. there's a lot of jazz influence in it really like i, lo- I love that yeah like uh, a lot of the chord progressions are based on like seventh chord progressions that i learned yeah. when i was taking theory and stuff so there's yeah. a lot of that we're Don't basically we not playing just bar chords anymore me and jordan are both just playing leads and harmonizing and doing intricate shit there's synth a lot all over the new stuff a lot of keyboards tracks and stuff like that Cleaned Cleaned up no distortion tones. Cleaned up the tone entirely. Yeah. Clean guitars. Playing really? in standard now. Yeah, playing in standard tuning. Damn. Yeah. It's going to be real different. 
It's still like well, it's still past people, comfort. But... Like yeah, cool like well, we talk yeah, about it's... it a lot. Every time I sing on something, it's gonna sound like me. And Jordan's the kind of kid when he writes parts, it's always like innately like mm-hmm. that's Jordan, and that's how it feels when he writes something, and that's what it like sounds like. So there's a lot of that personality that comes through of like the stuff you've heard before. It's just taking it and what we feel like and taking it up to like another level and being able to do something like bigger and more professional, more like just on another level. Mm-hmm. And so I feel like we're just following what we're passionate about, really. Sure. We just didn't f- like we're just doing what we feel like doing. So no, I'm it for it, natural. man. Yeah, that's Thank all. That's all. It's what you should be doing. Yeah, if you're exactly. playing shit you don't like, then what are you yeah. doing? You know, yeah, like that's sure. boring. And every song we wrote last year, like we learned a little bit, like throughout each process of like what we did and didn't like from it, yeah. and we've been able to kind of just like find our way into this yeah. new sound. That's yeah. why I feel like people are gonna like feel like a later on is like they're gonna go back and look at these five singles and be like, where we pick and poke things, you know, like we like this from this and this from yeah. this and this. And are this y'all gonna do the same thing where you release singles out throughout the time, or are you gonna a release few. like a whole thing? A f- it's we're few, putting out an EP. This, this is year. the first time we're gonna do a body of work. Cool. For sure. So it's it's something that's gonna happen at some point this year there's Fuck. no def- like again like last time we were here no definite dates on anything but it's it's all starting to come together and we have we have you know, the songs we have everything put together we just have to finish up some writing and mostly vocal and writing mostly vocal writing and then recording of course because that's mm. just you know figuring out the, the process, money yeah. and, and yeah. everything you know so i'd bet it's yeah. out in the fall yeah all of it for sure by then the fall yeah, yeah the that's fall. a good it's just where we've really like taken the time to like think about like one what we want to do, two what we think will like be best for us, you know, going forward in our in our you know professional mm-hmm. standpoint, and then and then just kind of we really are looking forward to surprising some people and throwing some curveballs. So it's Hell gonna yeah. be it's gonna be really cool. I've been loving watching y'all grow. It's like even getting tighter, you know, like mm-hmm. as musicians together in a minute because y'all are still basically a young band. Mm-hmm. But you've done a lot already for such a you know infancy of what you're doing. We've and been yeah. handed some opportunities uh-huh. this year where it was kind of like Cause nut I'm, up or shut saying. up. So we had to kind of we had to either like get our act together or look like fools in front of a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. So we kind of we kind of really had to take <laughs> yeah. that, and we, that really taught us to like take that and push it now. So now we're really gonna like push to like change the tempo yeah. on it and be like now. Also, the bands we played with too, like have been super like inspiring for us to just like want to push ourselves to be better right mm-hmm. like you guys and you oh know, i get that go for gold and all that every like, time yeah. i play with a good band you're like oh shit yeah. yeah one of my most memorable ones was playing with like mailing like we played and we were like we got to be better than them they was like all different we didn't we hadn't seen them in a couple of years so mm-hmm. it's like oh probably we'll be better than them dude and they crushed i was like fuck dude we suck we gotta go back to the drawing board <laughs> it's, it, it can be like that you can you can come in like super fucking like confident and like be like, yeah. I mean, and you just kind of well, you just, tend to do that when you get a bill. You get to be you kind of like gauge it out, and the, you feel like how how you feel like, like you're gonna like yeah. stack up against the other bands that are playing, and like how the overall shows. It's okay to be blah, confident blah, blah, blah. in your shit. Yeah, and then you show up, and confident. kids crush it, and you're yes. like, you can't like you're always proud. <laughs> I love actually, yeah. There's just that. Too, there's that little bit of you that's like, oh fuck, like no, we're gonna to look kind of shitty. Yeah. Well, I think <laughs> it's really cool when you get to actually play with a band that you feel is yeah. that good because it doesn't always happen that often. Yeah. Like, I love getting laid on my ass by yeah. some good music. You know, Dude, it's rare. Straight like, up, it, it when you're does. On the road, at it least. does tend to feel rare at times for sure. On the road, oh, oh, especially yeah. on the road. Well, I mean, it's just like the first time I saw y'all, and then the last time, which was the cover show. It wasn't y'all shit, but dude fucking the difference is staggering Thank i think you. i even came up to you afterwards i was like you set a new standard and now i'm gonna hold you to it because that was fucking magic you said that to me and it was literally something we've discussed on multiple occasions since we started like really working on this new stuff like going into our shows this year like it's that all the time you got to that's you it to. you set a new bar for yourself yeah we yeah. set a bar and it, we're gonna try to maintain that you know and we invite everybody around to set a new bar like it's like I was saying to people at, you know, the Punks for Paws show the other day, you know, like it was Anchor the Appetites for a show and they were like kind of just asking how, like how they thought it, like asking me how I thought it went, like blah, blah. I was like, you guys packed out a room and you played a good set. Like now you just hit the gas. Like go, yeah, yeah. go. Yeah. You started on a good note. Fucking just Don't stop. go. Get it, get it. And like, you know, <laughs> it's true. Like, and that's what we're going to continue to do, and that's what we hope everyone around here continues to do because it makes Watch all it of us look good. It does. We're 11 days into the new year, and they already had a sellout, so kudos, Boom. man. It Hell took yes. us how long to do that last year? May? 
Uh, no, 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 not that stage. Deep. Rebuild well, the, the stage. The first time was the uh, Gopher, my 25th. first show with Gopher Gold in September at Venus. That one did sell. That sold out, man. That was Gopher Gold's first that show. That was, was the year before. Yeah, yeah. September 2018. Like yeah, I was like November. Shit, was it November? <laughs> yeah, dude. It's the first one. <laughs> okay, that was a long. It was a long time, time ago. ago. <laughs> I just remember somebody asking me for my lights, and I was like, "Who the fuck is this? I don't even know who this is." Like, blah blah blah. And it I was go, me. Yeah, it was Kurt. And I was just like, all right, fine, I guess. And then yeah. I show up, and I was like, oh, shit. That was crazy. Hey, you got free pizza. I did. I got a free pizza. Should have asked for money. <laughs> nah. Yeah. Nah. We don't, we they got hella here. paid. I'm not out here trying to make money. Too old for that. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that into this microphone for all of those to hear. What? Please pay Corey. Oh. <laughs> nah, and okay. Kurt. Y'all think touring helped? Yes. I know touring helped us. It really when we did our tour, it was just like, oh, because you're doing it every night, you know. Mm-hmm. And you it gotta, teaches you love different that. things, huh? I actually love doing it every night. Like it's yeah, it's almost like dreadful the last day because you're like, fuck, this is the last show. Like yeah, I just want to keep. I get like a, a, a sense of I get to go back to work on Monday. <laughs> like, like, every day that I'm not out playing shows every night, I just feel like I'm wasting my life. Like honestly, <laughs> like I just. I feel you, bro. You get yeah. you do get that like post tour depression for sure, and like that's something we've been trying to manage this year. We like, I was talking about it like right before the holidays because I, you know, you got hit with the, like the double whammy there. Like we hadn't played a show since the cover show, and then the holidays, you know, are just like never fun. So you're never. just kind of like, it was a lot. I could tell. I was like, I remember I asked Taylor. I was like, Yeah, it's two days before Christmas. But can we just set up the Christmas tree? Cause like and I need to did. get out of this phone. <laughs> it's, it's still up. yeah. It's still and up. We're not it's taking it down until <laughs> February. We're sticking with it, dude. <laughs> till February. Dude, I, I don't. I don't remember who I was talking to. Is that punks for puzzles? Like, isn't it strange when you put the Christmas tree up? You walk in your house. You're like, oh man, it kind of helps. You're like, damn, it's it's you know, yeah. it's Christmassy. It's yeah. nice. But then when you take it down, you're like. Man, fuck. Back and it's still cold as lame. shit. Yeah. It's like yeah. going on tour. Okay. You're like, yeah. fuck yeah. Real quick. And then you get home and you're like, Mention shit. Mention how like, the weather <laughs> went from 60 to 30 three days ago, like in 24 well, hours. Well, Wednesday it's going to be 70 and then like 20. Are you what? kidding me? <laughs> fuck <laughs> Arkansas's weather patterns. <laughs> Mayflower's doomed. Me? Why? Mayflower and Valonia are fucked. Tornadoes. Again. Every what are you year they just get destroyed. Yes, that's true. I well, don't know why looks they like keep we're gonna re- have to hide underground. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Good thing uh, we, we got need, a storm. We need a race room. of underground people here. That'd be great. I don't think we can fit shows. that many in our shelter. <laughs> <laughs> we have a we have a little cellar, but it's pretty small. It oh, it's we took those yeah, promos in it for the the MCR thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot about. Oh that. yeah, can we talk about how he resurrected my chemical romance? You did. Yeah, let's talk about it because that was fun. What? The biggest stroke of fucking luck ever. Dude. Promoting yeah, a show had, where oh a band's God. covering a band that's been dead for how I think, long? Here's the thing. <laughs> like, and then just magically, it's years, like, hey, I we're think. coming back. Right. I think when, you know, you said you you said you came up to me after that show and we talked about it. 100%, it was not us that made that show like that. People were excited about it just because, you know, it's MCR, like, cool. Mm-hmm. Everybody knows MCR songs, so, like, they were going to come out and sing those songs. But then MCR was like... What's up, bitches? And everybody <laughs> freaked the fuck out and was like there and like lost their shit. It was incredible. It was ridiculous. That like I was world. not like, prepared for what show. we were handed by the crowd. I'm that just night. glad I got to experience y'all's perspective because I had to be the guy behind the cabinet, like switching the lights <laughs> off and on. And you crushed Did it. You, just, you could just see <laughs> us like turning to each other with our back to the <laughs> crowd, like, what the fuck is going on, <laughs> I, dude? I looked at him multiple times and went, what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, that's how I felt. I'd like, I'm up there just like blowing my voice out, trying to fucking sing these Gerard parts and turn around and be like, I don't even have to fucking try, dog. (laughs) Everyone was doing it for you. But it was just like every time I turn around and all those people be freaking out, you just get that like crank of energy to be like, it doesn't even matter. I could suck all night long and and it's going to be cool. Wouldn't have mattered. Y'all had a free pass for that one, but you still crushed it. It's the the most fun show I've ever played. It's yeah. the most fun show I've ever watched on stage, I think. Yeah. Seriously. I was, was tired. Fucking it was great. And Legend. so much went into that, too. Every band. Every, At, like, the whole crowd, the whole time. Yes. Yeah. There Everyone no brought problems. it, too. Like, there was not a weak set. There was not Dude. a weak crowd moment. The, there was not, like, it was great all night long. Yes. Beano's was just awesome that night. <laughs> like, I still think about it. Yeah. yeah. I have sleep. dreams about it. Yeah, me too. 
I really do. <laughs> oh I'll God. go back and watch it every once in a while, but it's mostly just to watch Taylor just crush every single Man. last second of those drum parts. I say it every chance I get that playing with Taylor in this band, like, and him being the drummer is like one of the coolest privileges I will ever have in my life. Oh, yeah. No tighter drummer, man. Being that trained, it's going to be hard because if you suck and he's good, it don't even yeah, he's just going to look at you like with like those shame eyes and be like, yeah. you're fucking up. <laughs> it's, I think it's really cool because it makes us all raise the bar. Like, you know, yeah. I, I had that moment like early last year when we were sitting there talking about like new music, new whatever, what we were going to do, what was going mm-hmm. on. I was like, I'm gonna, I just, you know, I was like, I decided that I was like, I'm going to try to really raise the bar on what I do this year because, you know, Jordan was coming in and he was super talented and Taylor's always been that talented and Chance, of course, always is as well. Like, so I, I was like, I'm just the kid who's singing the song. So I like, I was like, I need to fucking yeah. do it if I'm going to do it, especially since I was stepping away from playing bass and plus, singing at the same time. I plus, was like, plus what sucks is like super talented whatever gets no credit but everything everybody looks at you so you got you better be on your yeah. f- fucking a game yeah. you know yeah it can kind of it's kind of weird that's the thing there's like a weird pressure yeah. on me it's like it's an it's we more got the photographer I, I here though but it's like the, yeah. the old saying that nobody takes good pictures of drummers because i'm always like it's because no one's paying attention yeah yeah it's really sad no one cares about me it's fine yeah and yeah. it's like it's a weird kind of like inward pressure it feels like sometimes on like especially being like a vocalist in the way we write and stuff is like if i suck no one's gonna care about all the hard work and shit they put in. So like, yeah, I gotta fucking come yeah, exactly. for it. Like, you that's know? why it's working as a unit. It's about like, mm. I don't care. Like I, we talked about it when we wrote this batch of songs for this EP we're working on, and it's like, I don't give a fuck about my guitar parts anymore. I care about the song. Like, mm-hmm. I'm more focused on how the song yeah. feels rather than anything else. So like, yeah. I also think it helps that we're just so close because we all live together. We're like a little family. Which like, is awesome. If we have something to say, no one gets butt hurt about it. We're like, all right, well, let's fix it and make this shit work. Like, He's like, wow, this if sucks. If I have to throw this whole guitar part away, fuck it. Whatever. Let's write exactly. something else. That's actually pretty cool, man. Yeah. It took us a long time to get there. It <laughs> takes it takes some time to get there yeah. for sure. Like, We just like sped just up so all the time because we have no other lives but each other. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. It's all good. We like have been basically writing music all year, like the the past year, and we actually had like a completely different batch of songs before these, and we wrote these like just in the last two or three months, I think. Did y'all trash all the other ones? Yeah, yeah. No. We've, we've shelled them. They could trashed. use them later. A lot, a lot of them are we're in a we'll different probably, like, vein than we ended up going though. Yeah, well, oh, it's yeah. we'd like yeah. to do the thing where we like have a bunch of stuff saved. Sure. And Maybe we pick and pull. Like take this, 10% of what's there and make a new 90%. The lead yeah. on this new single that Jordan is playing was actually on a song we wrote like a year ago. Yeah, it was well, I forgot I forget about what? that. Yeah, I took it from that and kind of reworked yeah. it. I forgot it all about so it. It sounds so much different because it's not distorted yeah. or anything. Now. Right. Right. And I ended up Playing it different too, yeah. But it's like but the same lead, pretty. Much. Yeah, it's the same uh, like voicing and notes, I think. But it's it goes different. like I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, yeah, y'all just heard our newest one, and that actually we pulled up. It's a four year old part, nice yeah. from an intro that we used to play yeah. to intro a song, and we stuck it in there. Yeah, yeah, I get it. That's how you sometimes do it, you know. Like sometimes you're like, it's just con- it's about constantly cool, but it's writing not for now. Trying, yeah. Uh, He's like, this is cool, but it's not for right now. I mean, and it's also Save like sometimes later. you just got to write as an exercise, you know? You got to just like work out, out your noodle a little right. bit and just be like, this is what I'm thinking of right now. What? And then, <laughs> 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 yeah, hey, in more ways than one, sometimes you just got to get it out, you know? Come on, you know? I don't like You got to just get that sweet release of just getting it out on something and then figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> It's Getting it out, huh? No, but yeah, but it's it is kind of like Getting that. Get it out though. all over this room. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, your noodles all stiff. You can't do nothing with that. God, God damn it! All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> get it to a good boiling temperature and soften it up. Yeah, but it's been a wild year. <laughs> yeah, it has. You guys have done a lot in a fucking year, man. It's I, been. And I've only known you. you for like nine months. We're gonna do even more this maybe. year, probably. That's great. I'm Probably excited. I'm already if tired we're not, thinking I don't about know it. What we're doing. <laughs> well, you've already, you've already got the one tour. I assume you do try another one. Oh, we we've try like four or five. We've, got, like, we can. we've already got multiple working for cool. later on in the yeah. year for sure. Fuck yeah, we've dude, got a 32 sure. month tour lined up. 32 months. Yeah, <laughs> interesting. Are those paying months. gigs or nope? No, nope. just out yeah. pocket. Huh? We are just gonna, gonna do, be homeless. You gonna do trailer <laughs> tattoos on the side? Yeah. 
<laughs> Walmart Amphitheater. Yeah. Dollar General Stadium. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, now. The Walmart Amphitheater. Right beside the Red Box. You can't I would love it. to play the Walmart Amp, though, to be honest. Damn. All jokes aside, I want to play the Walmart amp. That's oh, that's, that's, oh, that's, that's a serious that's thing. Hill? Yeah, it's well, Rogers? it's in Rogers, Rogers. like Rogers. yeah, which is the same shit. You know that I'm from there. That, that whole area, area is the like, same. It's yeah. all the same, except now it's Little Rock. That points. they just put a sign yeah. up and say it's a different town. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> Fayetteville, Bentonville, same shit. Yeah, Ville. Yeah. It's all a Ville. Ville, Arkansas. Arkansas, Ville. Exactly. <laughs> Northwest Arkansas. Arkansas. That's all it is. <laughs> oh, mm. but yeah. That's it's, exciting, it's man. Really cool. Yeah, we just really want to... You hear Justin out there playing drums. I hear him yeah. 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 Did he switch the kid around already? Probably. No, he he can do both. He's ambidextrous. What? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, open-handed, just like when I hop on your kit and do that. Yeah, Same but like... Stuff. No, no, no. He can play every part he does left-handed, right-handed. It's insane no, to watch. It's fucking yeah. it. you the lost most me magical there. thing. That's what sucks for my end on my ends to war's ends, because, like, I drum to shit... And the guy in front of me is a better drummer. <laughs> so he, he'll write shit sometimes, and I'm like, uh, like I don't uh, know if I can do this. I can't do that, Justin. Sorry, bud. <laughs> He's like, dude, it's easy. It's just like this. And I'm like, yeah, I right. know. And then he'll sit down, and he'll show it to me. And but he's a terrible teacher, even though he is a drum teacher. <laughs> he'll play at full speed, and I'm like, what'd you do? Okay, and play at full speed again. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, that didn't help at all. <laughs> <laughs> Slow it down. Slow it down. 61 to 55. 61 to 55. Slow it down. down. <laughs> <laughs> is that what a is, cop? Y'all get yeah, over. we got pulled over one yeah, night. Christian I got pulled, here, got pulled over. over. He was like, how old are you, Christian? His My name's Tristan. Tristan. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, you're looking at my fucking ID. What do you mean, how old am I? Dude Tristan. was in fucking He's like, you know how fast you were going? You're going 61 into 55. Slow it down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where was that? On in, our highway, right by our house. Uh, in Conway. Highway 365. Makes sense. Yeah. I was hoping it was somewhere else, but no. I wish. Right here. Yeah. We well, got old, pulled over on that road. And had the most weird interactions with cops out there. <laughs> when we bought, we Hell told y'all yeah. last time about when we bought the van and we got pulled over by that cop who used to sell the types of vans we oh, were driving. Yeah. He was really so he interested. did give us a ticket for not having the tags on. It. We didn't have, <laughs> and any, none of us had our IDs or license. Licenses. There was no license plate. All we had was a proof of purchase, bill of sale. Yeah, yeah. And he was just like, "Well, you're good. Good talking to you." <laughs> Cops, man. Pulled us over in our driveway. Yeah. So living together, how long does it usually take to write, though, man? Is it like (sighs) four seconds? That's a really interesting question. It depends. So I'll actually use examples. I always say the best shit's written in a single, like, yes. Well, here's the thing. Sometimes we get stuck on something and we go back and, like, fine tune it. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Mm. So, like, this single. Every day. I no. think I wrote, yeah. like, when I started, the single we were about to put out, I wrote that in, like, two hours alone, and then I showed it to them, yeah. and it became something different. And then we were, like, I mean, we made changes to it just, like, a week ago. But yeah, we made changes it. to it constantly. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. You, we re- re- you re- rewrote on it, it, like, four times. We that's it. true. Yeah, we, like, I came make in scratch demos on a wait. laptop so we can listen back through it and, like, edit, like, we make everything little on bits logic, at a time. And know, then on the MacBook, so. I just MIDI the drums, and then Taylor creates this angelic magic track so you put like this simple like it's yeah just kind of like the feel of like how we get the bones of the the idea and then he gets to take it and run like yeah i imagine that's uh but yeah jordan rewrote on it like three or four times and then i we changed the bridge like two days before we went and tracked it Mm -hmm. yeah (laughs) because i had written the way i wrote the vocals on it i was like i just think we need to cut there was like a longer like drum like drone or drawn out thing and I was like, let's just cut that and get right back into it. Cause like, and of course, you'll see later on when it comes out kind of what I mean by that. But do, y'all, do y'all demo shit out, listen to it back, and then go, wait, this fucking yes. sucks? Yeah. 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 That's all, all of our we'll do it all. We'll go entirely. all the way through and do vocals and everything. And That's I rewrote good. the vocals. This song was going to have a, a different title, totally mm-hmm. different vocals and like everything. And I just sat and rewrote it like I, it had like four working titles, four yep. different melodies completely, like everything until I landed on this and we were like, perfect. It, like, it you took know? us a little bit of time to settle into like what we're doing because it was it's like, pretty right, different. it is really different. So we kind of had to find our niche, mm. but like, uh, like one of the songs, it, it's different the depending on the song. Though. Like one of the songs on this, this like batch is like 
something we did in probably an hour. Me and Chance just mm-hmm. wrote it like in an hour, and like it's done. That oh, newest that, one, that new song, probably the newest one. Yeah, I think that's uh, the one. Yeah, right? y'all wrote that, and like I was just sitting there playing two K, and I played. We made, I maybe played like two games, and y'all were done with the song, yep. and y'all like hey, check it out. And I was like, what the hell? So it just depends <laughs> on the on the moment. That's yeah. probably my favorite thing we've written so far too. Yeah, because some stuff comes fast. Like, some doesn't. I don't play chords at all the whole song. I love those songs, man. Yeah, I think I don't. I don't remember honestly. Mm. Yeah, we I think to, I'm the only one. We, we'll does. like write shit and then be like, "Fuck, oh, we I gotta know. go back and learn." This. Already forgetting the song. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what we were. That's why we had to play every single song for our. We have like two shows coming up back to back, and we're gonna do two different sets because one's a new city for us. Yeah. So we're like, well, we gotta break out all the killer shit because we want to really, you know, stick it to them. Yeah, for sure. And you can get away with playing a looser set than like what you play at home because yeah. you can experiment more since it's not at home. Yeah. That's always kind of nice. Well, every time we play somewhere new, we always bring the most brutal shit we have. We're just like, and we don't stop. So like yeah. those sets, is just like 30 minutes of just boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Talk once, be like, hey, we have merch. If we remember, mm-hmm. just say that and <laughs> then play. It, like that can that. be so hard though. Like once you're like really in a flow on a set, like stopping to be like, oh, actually, like this is who we are. This is what we got yeah. going on. We got we merch over there. Yeah, I understand that. Like I'll all the time. Like it'll be like right before the last song. I'm like, yeah. oh fuck, I haven't That's said. That's why we shit. need a backdrop. Like, <laughs> what? That's why we need a backdrop. Yeah, for we sure. Definitely... Backdrop that just says merch is in the back. <laughs> <laughs> We're That's past home for buy some merch. <laughs> we we just put our... Um, where's your merch? Okay. Anyways, Kurt hates our new music and. Well, let That's me let it. me just speak on Corey's point real quick. Just you're talking about like going to this new city and just playing like nonstop for thirty minutes. Mm-hmm. You're not connecting with the crowd at all. Oh, we don't need to. We want to melt their heads off. I mean, you could do that. Like That's that great. Attitude. But also, if you don't say who you are, if you don't like, you if you don't hurt. make that connection, it's about that emotional connection. Well, and if you can do that through your music, that's great. We we sell who we are when we start. No, no, no. I'm just saying, like, for example, so like, past comfort mm-hmm. on the last tour. You remember the fucking Kirby's Beer Store? Uh-huh. Shit was yeah. tight. Shout out what you talk about. shitty Kansas. that show would be if you guys just Yo, yeah. ran, ran through your set for 30 minutes and didn't say anything. See, I was going to speak on this exact thing earlier when he was asking about like learning on tour and stuff. Yeah. That was the thing I learned on tour was like really how to engage in a crowd in a city you were not from where people did not give a shit who you were. And you, know how he and did you were just there playing in a small bar for some people. He just picked something out of the Todd box. I, I fucking did, I just asked the crowd to get on stage. That's the only way I could get people to come up to the fucking stage was tell yeah. a joke. I, you got to make I them said, from Arkansas and we had to buy shoes just to get here. Not <laughs> <laughs> not who's that? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I, I had to cut my date short with my sister just yeah. to make it out here for y'all. So it you works, better make man. it worth it. Because everybody thinks you're a fucking hick anyway, and I rock this precious mullet, it's so they true. really think it. Yeah, so. when we tell people on tour that we're from like Arkansas, they're like, what the hell are you talking about? And we're like, yeah, I mean, we are, I guess. It's Even just, in Kansas. Just, yeah, just, yeah. I don't know. It throws people off. Right it really does. Right now, I'm giving you head right now, bro. Yo, give me a- <laughs> it's an Ant Man bobblehead that broke. <laughs> he he threw the head out of it. But yeah, <laughs> no, I think I think y'all should talk more. Todd talks in every second we get, so sometimes yeah. I don't have a choice. Yeah, but all That's you guys fine. are funny as fuck, and like you all like very to mess charismatic around. guys. Y'all could do that very well if you wanted to, it, and it could be very effortless. Just like being yourself on stage really can show like that you guys <laughs> are approachable in a weird way, and not a weird way, but like in a certain. way. Well, it's way. like approachability too. Like if you just walk into the venue. Set up, play your set, and it's just fucking like heavy nonstop, like in your fucking face. face. Yeah, I'm all for that, but also like I'm gonna be very scared to come up and talk to you at the merch table. Yeah, you're gonna 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 give you money. You're gonna seem extremely intense. But that happened for so many years because that's the way we did it for so long. Mm -hmm. And it was just like, well, people didn't talk to us, but me and Justin are both very tall and broad. So yeah. we're intimidating already yeah, just exactly. to walk up to. That's why you have Cody sit at the merch table or John. Yeah. <laughs> See, or none Todd. of us, we don't have that have problem Cody in our band. We, <laughs> we don't want people to talk to us and they come Y'all up and talk to us. Y'all are all <laughs> pretty boys. You're gonna ha- they're going to have to. Yeah, you're all like, oh. That's very nice. like, like sloth from the well, it's like on their last tour too, it was like, it was awkward because like they sold out of merch on day one. Hell yeah. yeah. So like really? people at would come up at that Kubicon show. You sold all those shirts? We sold one like for like we had a couple of the five. old shirts that we had. Those maroon we had like ones. two pairs of shorts, but the brand four new hats left, gone. and like 
Damn. Six shirts yeah, so and like a couple of yeah. like, ones. Like, hey, so they have had people coming up and talking kind to them. Of and like, merch. <laughs> they were like, we just have to well, shoot. thanks for coming. Like, I don't have anything for <laughs> We were just like shelling out stickers for free. Like, it was crazy and stuff. Yeah. Like, we were like, I don't. I mean, that's something. We, I mean, we still sold. Like, we came home with what almost nothing, I which was like everyone something we hadn't done. Minus on the, oh, you had to buy a transmission or whatever it was. What was, what did it end up being? It was that's the fuel pump, have not, have the alternator, and pretty much all the fuses on our bar. Taylor's telling us what it is. Taylor, say. Go ahead, Taylor. It had the fucking uh, fuel pump go out, the alternator, and like pretty much most of the fuses that were running the electrical system. So everything just like. Jesus. Failed. It was a cheap She just turned off. Fix. That's all it was. She just turned off. <laughs> she broke them turned off. That was not good. <laughs> I was actually talking about this yesterday. Taylor, was it your dad that came and got y'all? Ooh, that's a smart Well, Chance's dad, dad came and sucks. picked us up with Wait. our gear, like hauled our gear back home so for Chance's us. Chance's dad. My dad came, picked us up with the trailer. <laughs> Should we just tell the story from the Pine top? Bluff? Yeah. yeah. Just go ahead and start. I'm having start. PTSD okay. right now. Okay. How should... All right. I guess I could... So, we so I'm going to start I'll the just... story by saying this. Al- uh, past Comfort <laughs> fucking hates Alabama. <laughs> but well, hold I on, hate though. That Here's something <laughs> we need to give context to Be- that statement. Because no, this I mean, happened... Yeah. No, it's because got... of this story alone. And Look, it's... But it was funny is because of this happening, you guys made more fans in Alabama right. than you did at the Alabama show. Right. Just yeah, like cause we got to talk to so many people while we were just stranded for two and a half days. <laughs> oh yeah, everyone in I've just never had anything good happen to me in Alabama. Alabama so I, I did. Just... Love Alabama. That's I mean, hey, that's good. I mean, you should go to the Birmingham Theater. Well, it's the most I'm beautiful open. We're never going back. So we're <laughs> sure that won't happen. There. We've just not had good luck thus far. Yeah. But, um, that's fair. Uh, but we we played in Alabama mm-hmm. and the Blind Mule. The, at the Blind Whoa, Mule, which had the, one of the Some most really insane burgers I've ever eaten in my life. Blind Mule? The Blind yes. Mule. Okay, I thought you said Wine Mule. And I was like, that is an interesting <laughs> name for a venue. I mean, the Blind Mule isn't far off from being <laughs> a pretty interesting name. But again, crazy good burger. Best burgers. Best burgers. Um, that food was fine. Smallest yeah. bathroom. We stay the night. We get up the... <laughs> So the smallest bathroom. bathroom I had to shit planet. so hard in their bathroom. There was like a fucking closet. Okay, oh did you God. ever play at Soundstage? No, no. Same, except that, <laughs> except it was made of tin, and there was a little hook that you closed the door with, and if you could see through it, so if somebody walked up and you're pooping, <laughs> you're they gonna hey, see Corey. you pooping. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so we, the thing. we get up to leave the next day, and we're we're driving along, you know, and um, tell them where we were. We worse. were so I'm we, driving. We right. go through a tunnel. <laughs> And get on a bridge. <laughs> that long this was the, pretty bridge. much the worst thing that's ever happened. <laughs> My heart just like sank. I was like, here yeah, we Taylor's go. Taylor's driving, so I'll let him tell it from his perspective because I'm just laying down in the back of the van. All right. So I hop up there. Sweating. You know, it's hot, so we're all dying. The AC kind of crapped AC out on us. wasn't working so this like, whole tour. <laughs> we're just chilling, you know, in the van. Get in, start her up. We pull out of the hotel parking lot. We go through this tunnel, which... Thank God we made it through the tunnel because it was a very small, like two lane tunnel Ooh, underground. No, side line no shoulder whatsoever. And so we get through that and then we get on the interstate or whatever. I'm pretty it's sure it's an interstate. It's the, Mobile, it's, that, it, that it's, it's, it's the interstate yeah, it's that goes Mobile. across the Mobile Bay. Yeah. And yeah. we are just going along and all of a sudden the van just kind of goes <laughs> and then it just kind of <laughs> stops. Oh, shit. And I was like, hello? <laughs> so we're going like 70, and then we're going like 50. And then we just kind of coast to a stop, and I pull over on the shoulder, and people are flying past us going like, you know, 70, 75. Like we're all like, what's going on? And so he was the, just like, it doesn't have power. I was like, it's just not doing anything. And so it took it, it a second go. to like start again, but like after a couple minutes, it's cranked. And then so we drove a little bit, and then once you'd get above like 50, it would just like c- cut down. out. Whoa. And uh, so we so pulled up. Pull up. Yeah, this cop, yeah, so this cop up. pulls up behind us, and he's like, what are you guys doing? And we're like, well, <laughs> our van won't go. And he was like, well, you can't just park here. And we were like, well, sir, we're oh, no not. Shit. We can't go anywhere. <laughs> we're trying to get it to we're start. Like, no shit. And he's like, well, what's the plan? And we were like, get the van started so we can move, dog. Like, like this, what do you want from me right now? Thank you, officer. Happened. You're being very helpful. Yeah, he's yeah. like, well, there's some auto body shops up at this next exit. And we're like, awesome. Cool. Let me get my van that's not going over there. Real if we quick. can, yeah. You want to push? Because if not, we're sitting here till it cranks. <laughs> so, anyways, we got it started. And died a few times on the way to the Firestone down the street. Damn. 
And yeah. so we're just like starting it up. Moral going of the story is: feet. Listen, you want to hear the funny part? <laughs> yep. Had the Firestone in Alabama put the correct size alternator on it, we probably would have been able to drive it home Ugh. in one piece. Fuck. But they did not put the correct size on it, therefore it would so never... No, first off, they, they didn't know what the they were doing yep. at all. We got there like 12 in the afternoon. We didn't leave till they were closed. Yeah, they, yeah, I knew they, that part. they had to yeah. kick us out of the lobby because we, we had, had all sat there. All, like, we were like sitting out hot, on blankets next it, to the van, cool. and charging our phones inside and hanging out. Just, laying in the grass just shooting the road. shit with Firestone employees for fucking seven hours, just trying to figure out what we're going to do. And finally, at the end of the day, we're like, well, gosh golly, we are just, we're dumbfounded. We don't know what's going on. So it's we're like Pandora's it. box in there. <laughs> <laughs> he did say that. And so they're just like, Fuck off. Y'all got to get out of our lobby. We're closed. And so we have to pay for a hotel for the night well, after no, they charged us that, $200 for a new alternator that didn't work. No, it was like 400 So the beginning of the day, we ended up getting like, that money we back. Think it's though, the alternator. So. We're going to replace that. And then they did all that shit after a couple hours. And they're like, all right, y'all are good. And I was like, did y'all test drive it? And they're like, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, well, I'm going to test drive it too before I hook the trailer up and all that shit. We and never. I got, you and Kurt get in it, right? Yeah. yeah, me and Kurt got literally a quarter of the mile down the road, and it fucking broke down. Even worse than before, like it would not turn back on. And we had to. Oh, luckily, a fucking cop pulled up and was like, "Do y'all need help?" And this we is like, my yes. favorite. This, this is my favorite. Not right helpful here. at all. Behind you guys this is my favorite part of the two days. Yes, right here is when <laughs> I'm sitting cop. outside of this firestone. <laughs> Like, why the hell is it taking them so long to come back from this test drive? Because <laughs> we see them go out on a test drive, and they fucking crank this thing down yeah, the road. They're going like 80. They're like 80. The Firestone guys hop in it, and they're just... <laughs> they're, like the two dudes, they're like the two dudes from Ferris Bueller's Day Off in the car when they fucking <laughs> right, tell right, them to park yeah. it and take good care of it. They're like... Whoa. And they, they leave, go the speed limit, and they don't come back for 40 minutes. And finally, I, they come through the stoplight down the street. I could see them. They are going like an inch an hour. They are just like with two a cop in front and a cop in back. Like someone, they everyone thinks someone died in this car, but like they finally pull it back in, and they're like, "Hmm, well, <laughs> we thought we fixed. We'll it. have to work on it tomorrow." So. Oh joy! So we just proceeded to go. Get drunk in a yeah, hotel yeah. room in Alabama. The smallest hotel room. <laughs> it was the smallest two bedroom hotel room I think I've yeah. ever been in. We just but got there's a waffle house. house. Window bed was tight though. Waffle house. Door. And then I ordered <laughs> waffle, house waffle house from the wrong waffle house, and then walked to it, and they were like, "What it's are you like talking about?" <laughs> he calls waffle house and puts in this huge order. <laughs> And then they walked down there to go get it. And they called the wrong Waffle House. <laughs> Not they. So I even had to like... Oh, just, I did that yeah, for sure. Operator, bro. And I was like, will, will you guys you? make our order here? And they were like, yeah, dude, this happens all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it was just bad. They were just like, I can't believe you woke us up. <laughs> yeah, one dude's over in the booth. Just what did we walk like a quarter of a mile to go get that white claw? <laughs> I don't know. I felt like it was it was a way awesome. Yeah, I and felt there like were, were no gone. sidewalks or like even barely even a shoulder on this it was fucking a giant highway. Ditch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. the south, with man. Ditches. Yeah. yeah, we have ditches here. We're don't like fuck that. that no, you can tell <laughs> Chance back. doesn't walk. Anywhere. Hey, but we uh, we took an Uber and watched the Rambo movie. <laughs> you can tell that from my yeah, stomach. yeah, we did watch Rambo. Oh yeah, so day three of this trip. So we're now stuck in Alabama. This is day three. We right? oh, I went to that Starbucks and yeah, saw day one we break down. Day two we're trying to yeah. figure it out. The and next they, day they like we stay the night. Right? Wait, what? We stay the night twice. Wait, what? We w- yeah, okay. So we go. We're like, let's go kill some time. And so we take an Uber up to this like shopping center, and we go sit at this Starbucks for like a second. And while like we walk in, and I like recognize this like lady that's sitting at this table, and I was like thinking about it's it for small. a second. And then I went up to her, and she, like, recognized me, too. And it turns out uh, her and her Damn. husband, like, they were regulars at my old store when I worked in, like, North Little Rock. Right. But Taylor I hadn't seen them. Starbucks. I hadn't seen them in, like, a year and a half or so since I transferred to my Conway store. And they were like, what are y'all, what are y'all doing here? And uh, I was telling them about how we were just kind of hanging out, like, waiting to see if our van was going to get fixed. And they were, like, thought that was so crazy. And they, like, gave me, like, a $50 bill. And they were like, buy y'all some food. Hell yeah, and like dude. while y'all are hanging out, and I was like, "What the heck?" 
That's awesome. Sounds like the, Starbu- the Starbucks love is real. I'm sure Todd would be happy to hear that. <laughs> so we went to the movies instead. This will be a good test. <laughs> we watched the new Rambo. <laughs> this will be a good test to see if he listens. Yeah. He ain't this listening. is the Todd Easter egg right here. Yeah. Todd, if you're hearing this, where are you? Yeah. Ooh. Are you okay? Are you still sick? Text me sometime. Do you ever get nervous? Hello? Hello? <laughs> Do you ever get nervous? <laughs> So anyway, where were we? So were that's why. So, uh, yeah. But yeah, so we decided to go see a movie. Rambo. And we went and saw Rambo. By this time, like we know chances, Dad's coming to get us. We yeah. just oh, had yeah. to wait eight hours. Yeah, we were just waiting <laughs> eight hours for his dad to come pick us up. And so we went to a movie. We saw Rambo, biggest Oscar stub, I think. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. But no. God, no. But uh, yeah, and then we just literally went to the back lot in the... Of Fire the Firestone, where, where they, they were parked closed, the van. And we didn't want to leave our oh, trailer we lost unattended. Our frisbee on their roof. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we threw a frisbee on their roof. We nice. were riding skateboards around. I wrote. I should have did a pizza. I had to ride. I had to ride my skateboard over to the Walmart down the street to go to the bathroom to take a dump. <laughs> <laughs> He took a shit in the street? No, I oh. we mind you, it's like ninety degrees. We were just in, yes. we were just sitting everywhere. behind this this Firestone for like four another like three hours at least and. We had gone to Starbucks, eaten food, gone and seen a movie. I had to poop, dog. Yeah. <laughs> so I had to go to the Walmart, which was like An a eight, good little ways uh, down uh, the street. It's a second. It's pretty good it was a second, at least, at least. But I had rode my sk- I rode my skateboard down there and walked in with it, took it to the stall with me, took a dump and left because I was like, I can't. <laughs> so I cannot stand Alabama just because every time I've gone there, something just not good has happened. Because we told a, a horror story about Alabama last time we were here, too. Like, Oh, that's right. Yeah. About that show in the basement? That's right. Oh, The show that all ran on one power strip? Yeah. Nice and blew there. my amp out and I had to buy all new gear? Yeah, I had to buy oh. new gear on tour Damn. because of a show we played in Alabama. It With the tight. boots in the bathtub. Boots in the tub, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> boots in the tub. So, you when might you change get paid. Your, so now you're changing your stop. Have you changed your gear up at all? Yeah, oh, they yeah, play the exact same, same shit. Fuck now. Mm, okay. Both of them have the exact same. Give us a You'll give us a rundown. Okay. Give us a rundown. Yeah, for sure. So yeah, Rick, uh, rundown. Oh. They both have guitars. They, we both play Shut the up, guitar. Kurt. <laughs> so uh, I'm, just kidding. I'm just kidding. I guess I'll start with the I amps because that is like the epitome of what we played. The exact same. So like, I was playing through a Steve Vai Legacy Signature Carvin Cab with the Celestian Vintage 30s. It's a 412. Yeah. Through a Marshall DSL 15 head, and then Chance bought the same shit. A few weeks ago, and now, yeah, and so now we both play through that. So you don't play a combo amp anymore? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, shit. Uh -uh. Yeah. It's a big boy amp. Big dog shit 2020. It sounded a lot nicer, but every time we played, I was just like, man. They sound so good now. Yeah. It's just a lot more It's pretty cool. cool. It's very balanced. There's a body behind me playing Oh, of course, yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot more air. Well, and we both play Fenders, so we, I like, I play a Jazzmaster or a Telecaster, and he plays a Strat and a Telecaster and a Jazzmaster. We all play the same shit. Yeah. Just Fender only. And really. my seven Fender. string Ivan has so. RG7. <laughs> we don't yeah. fuck with that shit. No more. <laughs> <laughs> For those tasty licks. <laughs> For those jazzy chugs. <laughs> Jazz yeah. chugs. The jazzy noodling now. <laughs> yeah. I guess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Some knock loose jazz chords. How low can you go? G. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Until it just doesn't even make sense, note per note anymore. Mm. Exactly. It sounds like a power line. No, it's falling. it's real nice. Yeah, we we definitely, along with like you know like trying to take the production of our our just our music period up to a different mm-hmm. level is our live show I'm production is trying it, to be like, you know, new lights, yeah, new gear, yeah, our new next tracks, goal, new our next everything. goal is getting backing tracks, and I'm about to, like, just spend every dime I have to get a new MacBook so we can do all that shit. Oh right, yeah. we're trying. Are to... y'all all gonna start playing with in ears? Y'all just gonna rely? Uh, on no. I hope so, Taylor. but probably not for the time being. Until we're like, is that hard, dude? Yeah. What? Like, if they get off, or do you just ignore them? And just we play just with follow they him. Normally, don't get yeah, as off. As long as like, he's on time, we're fine. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's never been. An that's issue. the best part about like mixing, playing through like. If you do tracks, is like mixing, like having stage sound, and that when you run, when you rely solely on in ears, yeah. that's when you can run into those problems. Or if you're on the opposite, like especially if, it if one work. person's relying solely on listening to the track or whatever, like. But since we do, you know, we just pan bass 
to front of house and we have a cab so we can still hear that and then taylor's running on that so we it, it's made it really as long as i stay with the bass system. track it's cool cool and i've only fucked it up like once but we got back on time <laughs> we that literally yeah, play tracks fine. through his cell phone right now but yeah. yeah my phone plays bass for us like i make the midi bass tracks yeah. with a click and just email but who needs a bass but it's foolproof like as long as my phone doesn't die yeah. well yeah just put, it on put that bitch mode. on airplane mode and yeah. One time someone called him during our set. <laughs> yeah, we were practicing at home and our friend Tyler called. And I was like, hello, sir. <laughs> Oops. It'll just get so loud running through that bass cab. We'll get a phone call. <laughs> <laughs> Except it's one of those damn galaxy. But shout out Tyler. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's cool. I It's really exciting. Like he just He just bit the bullet one night and was like, yeah, I'm just going to sell like all the gear I have and get new gear to match Jordan so that we can one, it looks nice on stage having mm-hmm. matching gear. Sounds way nicer. Sounds way nicer. Mm-hmm. And it just it's just, it just it's is. been a solid and it we'll, just is, we both yeah. will never have to buy yeah. gear again until we're if we blow up and act like we don't know nobody. <laughs> <laughs> well you don't even have to do that technically. I mean you could still rock the same gear. It's good enough. Exactly. Yeah, for sure. I mean fucking a lot of those guys, the big shit, when you see like walls and walls of cabinets, there's like a combo amp behind all that shit. It's just not even real, up. yeah. Yeah, it's not even real. I mean, so many people just play with Kempers nowadays that it That's really doesn't too. matter, you know? If we were like doing Willie it Nelson. big, I wouldn't be opposed to playing with a Kemper. It's just we're trying to like also pay attention to what works for right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So long we're, as like, we're not doing that shit. <laughs> like, we're Your we're own playing. monitoring system and shit, then it's okay. Yeah. But if you're relying on like a venue's monitoring system. Exactly, <laughs> which is 90% of the time yeah. what we're doing right now, yeah. so... Yeah, you want to still be self-sufficient. Yeah. Yeah, and when you're out on the road, you're like, you yeah. show up and you're like, so that's the PA, what's that meme? So that's the stage, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's my favorite With venue. Little, <laughs> <little wooden> platform. <laughs> like, oh my God, a whole $12. <laughs> we did that shit, dude. We showed up to, is it Bears Den Pizza in Hot Springs? Bears Den's oh. in Conway. No, no, no. Okay, so what's the one in Hot Springs behind the place? What was the name of that place? Fuck. We played like a midnight. It was like one o'clock in the morning. Where is it at? Hot Springs. Is it? Uh, is it like a bar? Grateful Head. Yeah. Grateful Head Pizza. They, they oh, up on venue. the corner that used to be uh, at the, the bottom. Exchange. Of the exchange. It used to be. The exchange. Used to be the exchange. We played that stage. It was the <laughs> no, well, when they bought it and remodeled everything, okay. so we showed up, and we're a full fucking band, and we show up, and we're like, "Yeah, where's the PA system?" And he goes, "Oh, that's it." And he points to the ceiling, and there are two six-inch studio monitors, <laughs> and I was like, "That ain't gonna cut it." He was like, no, no, we have acts in here all the time. I was like, acoustic acts? Yeah. Okay. That ain't going to cut it. That ain't going to yeah, cut so, it, bud. <laughs> dude, it was the worst. And then some guy brought a PA, and then we ended up blowing it up. Very nice. Hell yeah. 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 That's how good your music is. Yeah, we played I The Exchange bad. before it got remodeled, and that stage was literally yeah, the too. size of Taylor's drum kit. Like, yeah. And we all squeezed up there somehow. You did? Like, yeah, all oh, four no, of us. No, no, Not, no. And that was before Jordan was in no, the band. We just this was, too. That was that, before Chance was even I in the band. I played there with yeah. a different band. And I was playing drums, and my drums didn't even fit on the stage. No, yeah, we put just the drummer and our cabinets behind him, and we played on the floor. How the hell did we get all of us out there? It was not. We were just fucking it's the around. Same, it's the same size. We, we, were, were, we were smaller then. How, yeah. We, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. What? How yeah, old no, were we? Ten? Not old. Ten. Not old. We, I had to be like I was. Eight, probably, I had to be like 19 or 18 or 19. You're what? probably like, yeah. So you How had to old be, are you now? 23 shut up he was like man i wasn't that old i was only 18 you're only 23 that's well funny. i mean that was still like four years ago yeah i guess so that is a four long or five time, years ago now yeah <laughs> that was like spring break my freshman year of college your boy just fresh got his teeth knocked out of his head Fuck. we were crushed no that was right before that yeah because i wasn't majorly depressed yet what about you <laughs> <laughs> jesus hey now we got the songs about it this now we're true. here. <laughs> and he's got some teeth. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. He was like going to say something say about something. it. I was like, no. Never I mind. lost it. Okay. All right, that's Kurt, good. you say something. Chance, you say something. I did. Hey, howdy. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. Tired. How are you? On today's episode of Crash Cast, we talk about merch. We have some. This isn't about it. you. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh wait, Crash Cast merch, yeah. yeah. We have Crash Cast merch. <laughs> Thought you meant my hands of war. Yeah. Yeah, fuck, I was talking about Lame Johnny before, Mr. Attitude. You can talk about it. I got 30 bands. You only talk about what I say you can talk about on this podcast. Oh, okay, that's true. I'm he just sends kidding. me a list. What's our next talking point? Our next talking point happens to be 
Crashcast merch. <laughs> We've got it. it. You need do it. Do y'all have any? We uh, do have merch. Ooh. We've got the koozie. Yeah, we got some leftovers. Open that top. No, do you drawer? guys have Crashcast merch? Oh, yeah. I've got a oh, koozie. We a know koozie. We We've been I got a hat. chilling with these koozies not, out here. They're nice shirt. koozies. They, um, I like those They keep your beer cold or and other beverages. It's easy to recognize because it's bright. Um, the, not LaCroix, though. LaCroix is something about it. It's just, it's shit, so just pour it out. Yeah. I used to trick myself into thinking I liked it just to be like healthier. I like, am I allowed to still not like LaCroix if I like White Claw? Nope. Mm. Shit, that's the same shit just with You officially vodka. made the crossover. But like LaCroix, there's no point. And White Claw, Fair. it's the alcohol content. Fair. Except they both taste like shit and you shouldn't drink any of But one has yeah. alcohol. Yeah, I but so I does. Them, and then I kept drinking them all. So does this delicious Yingling. I don't like Yinglings. It is a Telefunken. <laughs> I almost bought one of those. You recently. should. It's yeah. M80. It's a I bad didn't. bitch. I almost bought one, but I didn't. I you can be the gain structure is that of like a condenser mic. Yeah. So you can like literally crank the gain and get no feedback, and you can be back here, dude, just belting shit out. Crazy. It's the best. I just bought. Um, what was it? That's a telefunken <laughs> that he's talking into. Isn't yeah, it? I noticed. Yeah. I noticed the Come crazy. On. I noticed the shape of it, and that's what made me go like, wait a fucking second. And the no, wood, no, they. No, no, no. I saw the wood too, and I was like, these things are amazing. Yeah, I almost bought one, but I also was like, we're about to shoot a music video, so I can't spend three hundred dollars. You should on a save up and get one. Yeah, it's the. Fa- and I the finally weight. did buy myself a microphone to take myself on tour, so I don't Smart. have to rely yep. on the venue because it's don't... definitely better than what most mm-hmm. venues use, and I just don't, don't want to get water. sick. Yeah, because like, <laughs> why not? <laughs> as fun as that sounds, like I I literally sneeze once and my voice is just like, "Well, here we go." <laughs> okay, let's go scream these songs we wrote last year. But yeah, so that's always super fun. I just like ago. it makes it so hard when I get sick. And we're gonna, you know, if we go up north and it's already cold, and I'm up there just licking the mic that everyone else has been licking all night, like I'm not <laughs> doing that. Why are you licking mics? First you gotta though? test to make sure it's not gonna. Have you been you. to a past comfort <laughs> show? <laughs> <laughs> <She's> like, <laughs> exactly. Have you been to Kirby's Beer Store? I didn't think so. I yeah, shit. What's the size that? of this room? Shit gets funky out there. It's dude. the size of this table. We had everyone in that. Yeah. Whole so the, room the, the stage, stage was like the size of this table, and we had. Pretty much everybody that was in the room on it with us. It yeah, I, I, the, that's the one you. Sh- yeah, okay. Yeah. I saw the footage. And then we did the same thing the next night in Oklahoma City. Kansas City. No, Kansas, Kansas, Kansas City. City. Excuse that me. Show was that, show was like that show was sick. That show was sick. Like, Kansas every City band on it was fun. really good. Eamon called it the. The what? You called it the Daddy the Issue daddy Show? The Daddy Issue Show. show cause it just had, what, three different bands? World with Dad, dad Ever. Two, world two, two, greatest okay. dad. Yeah, World Dad Ever, our, our friends from Kansas City. And, then, and uh, World's, World's Greatest Dad. dad. That, I think uh, world Atlanta. Dad Ever just yeah, put out an EP from and it's really good. And y'all should it really is. Yes, yeah. please go listen to World Dad Ever. They're really great guys. Oh, these sure. are band names. Yeah. yeah. We called it the, yeah. Oh. And so on stage, I called it the Daddy Issue Show. And not a lot of people thought that was funny. Everyone was like, I thought it was really funny, and like no one gave a shit. I heard you say it from the back, and I was just like, (laughs) I knew. Yikes! Yikes! Yikes. I both thought it was hilarious, and that it should never be repeated. Now bringing it up again, you should have got up on stage and be like, "We're Dad Comfort." I'm saying, I'm saying, (laughs) past Dad, dad past Dad, dad. past Dad. (laughs) Our dads are dead. We're past Dad. Ooh. Wait what? (laughs) Wait what? Shout out to dads because without dads, we wouldn't. We would have never fucking got home. Yeah. Dads, shout out Josh, sh- shout yeah. out Brent. The craziest shout part of that whole story yeah, that we never told the was that part. crazy part. We, Jesus. D- we, t- oh yeah, <laughs> we we drive all the way back to Arkansas with 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 Chance's, Chance's, dad. Chance's dad, and then meet Taylor's dad in hot and uh, Pine Bluff, Pine Bluff with a trailer and where like, Taylor immediately gets in his truck, uh, and drives drive back, back to Alabama to pick up the pick van, van and then drive back home. So I was in a car for like. 30 fucking hours. A long hours. time. Yeah. <laughs> it was awesome. Dude. For like a long time. Yeah, shout out me and Taylor's dad. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. What's shout their first everybody. names? Tim, Brent. Josh, and Brent. Oh. Josh Charles and Brent. Brent Wallace. And Charles Timothy with it? Joshua Stewart. That's not <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Good guess. It's Joshua Olin. Joshua, Joshua Olin Stewart. Yeah. That's pretty good. So name. shout out dads. <laughs> shout out dads. Anyways, we are a band that has a lot of cool dads, I guess. Yeah, you Lucky gotta have us. cool dads. Lucky us. Yeah, cool. Hopefully. Jordan's dad's cool. Yeah. Jordan's dad is so cool. Dude, Jordan's Phil dad's is cool. the coolest. Phil's <laughs> <laughs> dad's cool. Yeah. Phil washed, hand washed the van. 
Yeah. yeah. He detailed the he van. He detailed the van while we were uh, on tour. Well, then he's going to be pissed at you. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Spill a drink. Yeah. 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 Did you clean that Text shit your up? father right now and let okay. him know what Chance okay. did. All right. You let him know. Be like, hey, Dad. Hey, I mean, this was months ago. But yeah. Shame on you. Floor. He just washed the outside. He didn't even look inside. He already knew it was fucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like, I'm not smelling that. They just no. put bunk beds in there. Like, go, I'm like, not going in there. He had us all walk outside and was like, you guys notice anything different? And, and we were, were all, all standing like, there no. like, I was like, yeah. the tires are wet. <laughs> the tires are <laughs> wet. Did it rain? Did it rain? Just on the van? <laughs> he, spray- <laughs> he just came out and sprayed a hose on the tires. It was like, look what I did, guys. <laughs> no, you pee on the van. Hey, you could have told me he washed it after just doing that, and I would have believed him. <laughs> no, it looked great. And no, then he, we just yeah. I was literally so blew that thing I was like, couldn't even week. think. <laughs> oh, yeah. <clears throat> and you probably haven't washed it since. Nope. It's terrible. We don't even own a water hose. Here's the, the only plan. thing we've done is spill drinks. And never wash the van. You don't own a water hose? Yeah. Actually, yeah, yeah we do. I think my dad's the only pigs. one to wash <laughs> yeah, it. We, we have to water the pet pigs all the time. So. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> those hoses oh, yeah. everywhere. Oh, my God. Shout <laughs> out pet pigs. Shout, Shout out to pet Shout pet out the little piggies. Yeah, Peppa Pig lives in our back. Shout out to the pigs. That's going to taste delicious. It's not ours. It's not ours. No, Don't talk about it. I, I was informed gone. that it's, it's like a test. Tight. I mean, it's, it's always a, it's always a talking point. Like, yeah, this it's is our home. Conversation. Those You're are the pigs. pigs. <laughs> They're all the pigs. Yeah. <laughs> They're not pigs. They're wild hogs. Right. It's it's thirty forty. <laughs> feral wild boars. <laughs> 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 they came bounding over. <laughs> I haven't heard that meme in a while. That was that. That, that was like one, one of the I original. Just yeah, dude, that's solid memes. stuff for sure. Man, I remember. That I laughed man. about that the first time I heard it for an hour straight. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. It sure, would make sense that you laugh at that for like it an hour because so I definitely did the funny. same yeah, thing. Yeah, I can't <laughs> help it, man. Oh. So how did today today go? Really well. Bad. Well, I mean, we're, Terrible. I'm beyond exhausted, no comment. but it went well. No comment. Except well, the fact that you rented a giant ladder and it still wasn't enough. Well, Kurt had to listen to a song he hates 37,000 times. I never so. said I hated it. No comment is hating it. Okay, no. Kurt. In my book, Look, it is. I do want to precursor. Like a very like, short not, maybe not I'm a, I'm a say it with your chest type person, Kurt. <laughs> say it with your chest. So I know you wouldn't stop yelling in my apartment earlier. Yeah, I mean, forewarning: we totally are aware that we're Different quite now. possibly alienating people who oh, well. like what we have done. <laughs> Let I them mean, do what they want to do, different. and if you don't want to support them, then that's fine. That's right. Yeah, that's so, cool. But also, please give them money. fun. Yeah, so Kurt doesn't Thank like you, what Kurt. we do. So if anybody does photography, <laughs> you want to hit us? No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm Ricky Bobby, and if you don't chew past comfort, then fuck you. <laughs> Exactly what part am I supposed to chew, hon? <laughs> you know. Oh. <laughs> That's up to the you. The chewy part. The chewy parts. Mm, please shut up. Well, some of y'all are, you know, y'all's mm-hmm. size to, you know, dad bod. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> anyway. I was wondering where you were going with that. that. <laughs> 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 I'm stealing a chip. Yeah, those are good. So we, we've talked about the new music. We've talked about the music video we filmed today. We've talked about the tour in February. Well, no, not really. We've mentioned it. We've I will mentioned talk it. about that a little more extensively. So You talk about whatever going you want. Texas. Thank you, sir. This is <laughs> your podcast now, Jordan. Okay. I'm going to so, sit over here. I'm going to take a nap. You just go. All down. right. Okay. So next month, we'll be the hitting Jordan the road show. for the first time this year uh, in February, starting on Valentine's Day in Tulsa, Oklahoma, with our friends in Go for Gold. And... Cliff Ooh. Diver and um, Goodfella. Goodfella. Goodfella, which Yo, I that love. shit is stacked. It is Let stacked me bring as that fuck, up. man. Yeah, Goodfella is awesome. Fuck's our invite? Dicks. Come on over. No, I'm just well, you're not a good fella, are you? <laughs> a good fella. Yeah, be I'm there. The best fella. So be the reason that we're saying. You're in Tulsa. Stood up for your yeah. ass. Yeah. Don't you have your own show? Tulsa. Yeah. You happen to find so yourself in Tulsa on Valentine's Day. Hell yeah. Mass movement. All the love Valentine's Day, Tulsa, Oklahoma. And then. The next day is my favorite city in the world. Um. Dallas, Texas, or more Beaumont. more accurate would be Denton, Denton, Texas, at J and J's Pizza. Yeah. Also with Gopher Gold. Yeah. Be and careful we, with Texans because if you're not specific, yes. they get very angry. Hey, yeah, and we fucking love the Dallas Fort Worth area, dude. They've been oh for sure so I'm good. I'm from Arlington. Proper area. Yeah. yeah. We love it so much. Arlington is it's, it's, so, a, it's great. Yeah, every Texas time is a country, and all the little yeah. cities are states. So if you get the wrong one, it's, and then yeah, that's I mean, true. after states. Denton, we have a day off, and then we go play Austin. I think. Oh mm-hmm. yes, where come and take it live, which we are so excited. That's such Super a sick such a It's nice going to be so sick. It's going to be yeah. so sick. And then have you played Austin yet? It's no, going to be so sick. First time. One of my favorite shows ever. 
It's so it, the crowd is so crazy. I it's can't such wait. A good city. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can't the wait. Best. And then after March. that, we play McAllen. Um, which That's like on it's the border. The, I, I'm sorry, That's I don't know the name about. of the venue because it's a it's a hard name. I can't remember it. It's the, I can look, look it yeah, up look on my phone. Yeah, that's that's the venue that they said was like um, you can get up on the roof of it. Uh, oh, that'd be a yeah, photo yeah, if you want to take a right photographer right with you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I cannot say that. I can say it. It's the uh, Urbaria Cultura, I think. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong, but that's what it appears to be. It's in McAllen. And then after that, we close things out in Corpus Christi at the Boozer's Rock Bar. I love Corpus Christi. Me too. Very cool town. Yeah. Very cool town. That's probably 100% right. I I hope I'm right. I'd feel bad if I wasn't. You took how many years of Spanish? I took four years of Spanish. I took two and a half years of Spanish. Are you lying? I swear to God, I took two in high school and two in college. You were in high school for two years? (laughs) 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 Donde esta tu madre? Okay. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) <laughs> Como esta is the ba- baño. I got fuck. I only know like seven. Baño? Yeah, Dude, baño? the only thing bathroom. I learned in high school Spanish was the movie Selena from top to bottom <laughs> because that's all. That's two. That is <laughs> no. That is all movie. my Spanish teachers in high school did was just make us watch. Immersion. They'd be like, "We're having a fiesta today. Somebody bring cheese dip, and we're gonna watch Selena." Come and I'll be like, fuck, at least "What am I learning? Month, at least once a month. <laughs> at yeah. least, yeah." <laughs> Maybe like we're gonna learn the Pledge of Allegiance, and then which is weird, a weird thing to be like. This is what we're learning in Spanish, and then we're gonna, we're just gonna watch Selena mm. over and over and over again until you can sing every song. <laughs> and if you can sing me a Selena song at the end of the semester, you pass. Yeah, immersion. Oh, it works. Yeah, it works. There's an app for that now. The culture. I know a lot of people keep asking us too when we're gonna play in Little sure. Rock again, and they're like scared. Never. That we are. I promise we're gonna do it. We just. Want to make sure that we like plan that correctly don't and be don't, mean you know, we don't want to like. I'm just kidding. Damn. Fuck up. Next our week, EJ, see you. That, no. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably maybe in March. I'm not, not gonna so like speak too soon. Horizon. Nothing's confirmed, but we're we're throwing the idea around. So just bear yeah. with us. Bear we'll with figure us on that for out, sure. Right? Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll make it happen. We'll <laughs> definitely have one towards the. Well, like the end of winter, you for know, sure. going into spring. Well, if you get the CD out or the EP, you'll clearly have a release for sure. Show. I mean, yeah, but you, and yeah. everybody knows us. Like, we're gonna play at home. Yeah, we'll play. We we're do two it. Two or play three a shows. year. That's all you need, yeah. man. You don't want to I mean, overshoot. We played right? at home a buck ton this last year. We're not doing only that like again six this times. year. Still, yeah, we but still like six four. times. That's like four oh. times too many. Yeah. Yeah. I am gonna say, if you want to see us, pick your times wisely because we're not playing Little Rock more than three to four times this year. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so for sure. I think be that's, I think that's an important topic too. With like, yeah, you, you guys and like the current like realm of like bands that have been doing it for oh, the yeah. past year or two, and then these new this? bands coming up. Like for sure. I mean, I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, I love about don't it. overplay your market. Well, not even that, but I think it's I think it's really important to know. Like when you put more work in and you have a successful show. It's way easier for you to justify, like, cool, we're set for like three or four months, and yeah. then maybe like we'll talk about doing another one. Yeah. Versus like I see these bands get like really excited about like I want to play as many shows as possible, but then their shows, you know, you got twenty, thirty people at each one. Your first Versus, one's like awesome. Yeah, your first one's awesome. It's fucking great. And then you just do and then it. You, you overdo like, it. This is great. I want to play one next month. So you hop on another show, mm-hmm. and then less people show. Up. That's what we did. Less people show. Up. That's what we did when we first started playing yeah. around here. We, another we big played... thing too is if you're doing the same thing every single time. Exactly. Like, why am I going to come see you two months from now? Mm-hmm. Whenever the last show I went to, you did the same thing as the yeah. last show I went to. Yeah. And then you find yourself we were waiting always... to see when they play with the better bands. Yeah. yeah. You're like, oh, that now this show. Okay, this is a stack. Absolutely. Then it's like, I'm not interested yeah. until you're opening for mm-hmm. another every, band. Every time see. you saw us at home this last year, we were at least playing a new song. Yeah. Which was the big reason why we wrote songs the way we did this last year is because we always wanted to be cranking out something new. Yeah. And you would hear one that either just came, you'd hear one that just came out, and then you probably would hear the next one that was going to be like up next. You know what I mean? You'd, you'd hear a song that you hadn't heard or weren't going to hear well, until like so y'all actually. Like, if anyone hasn't seen us, you'll never hear us play one song we wrote and played live. You'll I never mean, hear that song. yeah, by the time the CP comes out, you'll probably <laughs> like. There's a lot of stuff you ain't going to Wait, hear. what? Who could you just song, say? The He's first just song we used about to play. The Storm song, whatever yeah, we... I don't know Storm. what the working title Oh, yeah, we, we, we did play a song tour. in yeah, our we'll set for a while that we ended up scrapping. Yeah, yeah we'll that probably was, never play it again. The last time we played it was on tour in September. It yeah. It was the opening track, and now that song doesn't exist. So. Yeah. I mean, it exists, well, I like that song. We're not going to use it. Yeah, well, too bad, Kurt. I'm sorry. 
We, know, we, 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 we decided, decided to do what you'd hate so, the most. We're, we're, we're going to save it. We're going to strip it apart. We're going to save it and probably redo it like we always do. No, but like back on to To bounce on that conversation, like I would venture to say that I've seen every show you guys have played last year. Yeah, for sure. And every single show you guys did did something, maybe not even like a new song or something drastic, but you you were always doing something different than the last show. Oh yeah, like I was entertained every single time I show. I sh- like, I went that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Especially thanks. that last show. disclaimer. I was paid to be there too, but <laughs> I still <laughs> like for me too. Like if even if I'm being paid to be there, like if I'm watching you as a band and I'm shooting you on a consistent basis, and you're doing the same thing over and over again, and not giving me any new material, honestly, at a certain point, I'm going to question why you're giving me money. Because I'm just giving you the same thing over and over again. No, I think you can go... And literally, like, every show you guys played, even on tour, like, it was different every single night. Yeah. It, that's that's that what that's like what I meant earlier when we were talking about, like, Mm -hmm. hitting the fucking gas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fucking... Okay, you had a good show. <laughs> Fucking turn Get excited up. Dude. About it's, it. I mean, honestly, do it. Turn up. Show these people like what you're made of. You fucking had Have a good home fun. show, your first show, like or whatever or whenever. Like, hit the gas. Go. You, you had a you crappy know, show yeah. this time. Hit the gas the next time. Like, you know you, gotta, you can improve. You know you exactly. Know. And that's why we were fun, always trying new shit do. because we were yeah. like seeing what worked, what didn't, what Think we were going to cut out, ways. what we weren't going to. I don't do know if we're allowed to talk about it, but they already have their next show. Who does? Huh? Us? Think of the appetite. Oh yeah, oh, they do. Yeah. Oh no, not yet. Yeah, we can't. Yeah, it's talk not about announced that, yet. But it should be. Tickets are for sale though. If you want one, I will gladly sell you one already. <laughs> <laughs> but you also, we can't it? talk about it. Yeah. yeah. Take twenty. Well, just hit me up and then you. Sorry, know. Spencer. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't. I mean, yeah, that did kind of segue into directly talking about like them, just because like they did have a really good yeah. first home show, and they're a great example for like what we're talking about. Like it's yeah. just like. Do that shit. Well, they're Hit. all friends with us, so like yeah. we can all use that advice. Exactly. And, like, I know they listen to this podcast too. Like mm-hmm. they'll hear this. And, yes, you know, those are great gentlemen. And, oh, and they're really good, like, really good guys. I crushed it the other night because they're they're a great way to look at it and say like, okay, they did everything right, mm-hmm. and yes. now they're just hopping into the scene. Like, how can we all help them maximize? Exactly. That? And you, you know? gotta. It's a you know we all gotta live and learn from each other, and we all gotta like lift each other up, lift too. each other up, and do like and and because. The biggest thing is like helping each other helps you at the end of the day because if the shows just continue to get bigger and better every fucking, I mean, it's good for everybody. I was thinking about Sorry. it. There, the local shows, the all local shows this year were bigger than most touring acts that fucking came through this oh, last yeah. year. If it was at a venue, I think they were bigger than all the, the Go for Gold acts. CD release oh, for show sure. was bigger than the Acid's Burn show, which yeah. is crazy yeah. to me. The only thing I saw that was able to compete with the local shows Attila. was Attila. Attila. And Attila. That had, which was actually promoted really yeah. well. Yeah. Promoted by local bands who were responsible for most of the people. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Miss Yeah, a big thing also is yeah. it was bands, all thanks to bands, Billy Barton. bands who were on a... We That's talked true. about this the other night at at that show. Bands... Who are on a bill together and are trying to figure out the right way to promote this show? Do it together. Yes. Start a group Game message. Changer. Start a group chat. Start a group chat and hey, start bouncing plan? around you ideas know, yeah. about how y'all are going to promote this show and how you're going to yeah. make it like, interesting. Oh, you guys know how to that talk to change. Facebook really well. You guys handle that. We'll yeah. handle Instagram. Somebody Change else to the do fucking, fucking game. TikTok or something. I don't TikTok. know. Like, hey, that's relevant Vine now. This, hey, this you can't is... discount that. Vine's dead. TikTok's in. Like people are about it. You can't discount that. It's shit like find anymore. those strong suits between yeah. those bands and figure out how you can work together. Yeah. Shit's it's like, way okay. more fun when you act like your friends. It yeah. really is. Or just it's a way be better friends. experience. Just, well, I mean, yeah. yeah. It, and friends. a lot of times it's people you don't know, so you go in acting like your friends, and then you become friends right, because you get to know each other. You promote together. You work hard to make this thing you're doing mm-hmm. together the best it can be and when it's really good it's so easy for yeah. it to be fun and great for everybody when you don't promote well you don't communicate with each other you're all just kind of dicking to around it's easy to hate the show yeah. hate each other blame mm-hmm. it on everybody, blame everybody else and be like we brought people fucking blah, blah, blah. Like, like, okay, okay. You know, there's so, no room for that shit Ooh. so like if you're on a show I mean, with honestly, somebody you don't know, no, it's, I, it's, you, know I don't remember one time that happened this last year no, I know. I don't know. 100% agree. In today's age, there's no reason why like you should be put on a show with another band you don't know and you don't meet or to communicate until yeah. the show happens. Right. Like that's fucking I think stupid. I agree with that. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Like, like at that point, it's too late. It's like so, you obviously have not done everything you can to make sure the show. This year showed me how successful. easy it was to throw like a really fucking good show. Like, yeah, it's feel- stupid how easy it became once we started talking to each other like that. I was yeah. like, why has why is this just now the way and this honestly, goes? And like, honestly, that group chat is still going. Oh, yeah. yeah. And we were messaging it today. Yeah. Even before and that. the show like, was ha- months ago. Literally 10% of it was business before anyway, and mm-hmm. it was still, and it was all jokes and people fucking shitting on each other or whatever. 
we're sharing memes and yeah. it just like camaraderie it just yeah. builds it was awesome man. like we're you know and Still then like awesome. it's awesome because i can go back to that group message say i'm in a different show now in a different group message talking about that show i can go back to that group message and workshop an idea i have with a different group of people yeah. to get fresh my eyes on it like yeah. It just creates this whole community of people getting together to be like, make this shit tight. You get people interested. You get people excited. And like, that's how you make good shows happen. Like now, because you can, if you can get yourselves rallied around how cool it's going to be, it's so easy to sell it. I think for here, that's definitely a formula that's proven itself. For like sure. You, you, your crew, time like time everyone, again. you know, like the band's playing, like the more excited all of you are about it, the more excited everyone else will be about exactly. it. Like, you also, can just shout feel out that to buzz. like I don't know who it was. I, I maybe Ank of the Appetite because they're a new band, but mm-hmm. like there were so many younger kids and like people that I had never For seen sure. before. They brought at a that very show. different group of people. Like they so, brought, yeah, and that dude. that was the crazy thing about that is that was all them. That was just their crowd. Like yeah. that was that was tight. I was that was very impressive. Like mm-hmm. that was cool to see. Fucking amazing. Yeah, that was the one guy. <laughs> Minus well, the one guy. Yeah, that guy maybe not so much. <laughs> that guy <laughs> can get the fuck out. Stay the fuck out. <laughs> was were, was Taylor at the show? He yeah, yeah, dude. He left before all that stuff okay. happened. As soon as their set yeah. was over, I was like, get bounce. Out of here. I mean, that oh, was our plan to too. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, yeah. just what? talk. Just talk to people. Like, yeah. There's no ru- advice, there's no room like, for being strangers, and if you're gonna be a band in this area, like my message is like, let's be fucking it's friends, a very small dude. Area. Like yeah. another yeah. another thing, the best way to like get to know people and like find out who you should be talking to is to just go to a show. Mm-hmm. Indeed, yeah, well, and, yeah. and I'm more apt to come I see had so y'all much... play without me playing there because now we're buddies. That, yeah. Well, so that's a huge thing too that I've stressed for a long time. It's like you, you have no reason to go to somebody else's show. Like unless they do the same for you, like it's vice versa. Like it's a it's a, it's a back and forth thing. Like Corey, you can't skip. You know, for example, Past Comfort plays a show and then you skip it, mm-hmm. and then you guys play a show and then no one from Past Comfort shows up, and then you can't get upset about it. You see what I'm saying? There's right. that, but there's also like, and this is just in reference to like if you sure. guys don't know each other for right. sure. Right. Like you guys are friends, like obviously, yeah. It creates like, that yeah. dichotomy between the two of you. Like, oh, yeah. they didn't fucking come see me, so like, why would fuck I fucking that go see you them? Know, whatever. For sure. like, there's definitely that, but then there's also just the more you go out, the let like the fewer and fewer number of people there you don't know there yeah. is, and the more you the get last used two to going out, it becomes normal. We were talking about that at the cover yeah. show. How fucking just friendly as shit everybody <laughs> was. Yeah. I was yeah. like. Everywhere I went, somebody was just was crazy. stoked to see me. And I, I was like, what is going on? Text me like, the next day, like, dude, I saw you, but there was like a hundred people around you. Like, yeah. Sorry, I didn't say hi. I was like, I never even saw your face. Yeah. I, I, and that's, yeah. what, that's the way it felt when I we went the other night. We couldn't even find night. each other. Yeah. Like, for real. <laughs> I was like, is Eamon here? And I was like, yeah. 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 Eamon was yeah. somewhere. I didn't yeah. see Taylor until balls. like two yeah, sets. Yeah, I texted were, him and I was like, where are you? Yeah. Yeah. I found Corey and I just like glued myself to him. Yeah, I was like, like, "I'm that. This is it. Like, I'm right here. I'm chilling." Like, dude, what a crowd, man! It was cool. Shit, man. I, like, Every band killed it too. Yeah, and it it just started to feel after a little bit too. Like you couldn't walk two feet without running into somebody. You were gonna have to have a conversation with, and it's that's awesome. why I'm, that's the point I make about like yep. going to those shows like that and going consistently is like every time you go, you meet another person, and it's just like. It creates that community feel. It makes shows mm-hmm. feel like uh, friendly and nice and fun when it's just a bunch of strangers in a room trying to enjoy something or whatever. You can have that awkwardness. You can have weird moments like there was the other night because you know there was definitely a different group of people there than oh, they're yeah, like yeah. the usual crowd we got used to this last but I'm, year. I'm anxious to see how many of those people stick around. They're like, "Wow, that was amazing! I want to go see other bands and yeah. do this." Because well, here's the thing: like that was an opportunity to introduce them to a few different genres. Yeah. And maybe they'll branch off because of that, but obviously, like now we know those people are associated with X band, mm-hmm. yeah. So that band is going to bring those yeah. people ideally. Yeah. So then let's strategically say like, okay, and maybe not even like that band happens to play, but just reaching out to them and saying like, for past comfort, for example, like if you guys have a show coming yeah. up, and saying like vice versa, like hey, anchor the appetite, like you guys have this crowd that we're not tapped into, can you help us push this? Yeah. Like can you post about it or something like that? Yeah. And then you guys doing the exact same for them, vice versa. It's, and like it's just helpful for everybody. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's, Another it's thing like, I'd like to challenge you guys to do too. <laughs> Go ahead. When you're going to these shows, like think about it preemptively. Think about like what, 
how can I, first of all, help them? Like, I'm helping them by going mm-hmm. to the show, packing out the room, that, you know, helping with that. But also, like, don't not think about yourself. Like, you could be passing out cards or flyers oh, yeah, or something sure. of that okay. nature. Yeah. And just say, yeah. especially yeah. if you have shows coming I was coming wondering out. where you are going with that. I was like, well, yeah, usually yeah. pretty helpful guys when we were around. <laughs> <laughs> should have did that at that show. Like, especially yeah, if you have I shows, if, especially if you have shows coming did. up. Huh? We had the whole stack of flyers and we didn't even. Yeah, we're yeah, you guys still have a show. Right, we were stupid. Stupid. flyers and we didn't bring them. I'm just setting up merch table at other people's shows now. <laughs> oh, fuck. You don't have to do that. Just, just fucking pass them out at the front door or like show up early in the line and pass them out. That's true. I took them to see the story so far in Dallas and handed a bunch out. And I made like a lot of connections with kids at that show. Our Denton show should be sick yeah. because of purely that alone. Yeah, like, I, it was really cool. Uh, especially because there were, it was Honey was on that show, so it was a lot of people that might, you know, like our music now. Like, yeah, it's just like doing things like oh, diving man, into sure. like well, so like marketing, and it's just like so what would useful. it take for you guys to make a contact in Denton that regularly goes to the venue that you guys are playing at and ship them a hundred of those flyers and say, hey, the next two shows you go to, pass these out. Not very much it would, at all. It would literally take asking someone for an address to send them to, yeah. probably. Why not? Yeah. You're right. Easy. Yeah, put so then they're so there on the ground yeah, for sure. doing that promotion. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, no, I actually had a friend reach out in Dallas about that. It's, do it. It's, it's, it's like, there's so many things. It's like, I feel like, like people that's don't such a believe missed in themselves if you enough. Don't. You're right. Yeah. No, you're absolutely right. That's a... And people people get caught up and think like, well, nothing will come of it. Like that kind of thing. No. Right. Believe in yourself. You it's it's about, it's about, there's there's definitely like a, it's a double-edged sword with that kind of thing. Because you can very quickly drift into seeming very insincere and like, you know what I mean? Like people just don't like that shit when you're just like insincere. only you reaching know how many... Like messages I have in like old DMs that I never opened. Yeah, this is where me and you definitely have some some different huge. I mean, yeah, that's cool and all, but like this is definitely where I I have a I have a difference in opinion on the way other bands do that kind of thing. It works for them, but for we just I I don't know. I want to actually connect with the people who are listening and liking our music. When you get there, yes, but also. I want to just consistently do that now. But you got to get them in the room first. The last I mean, yeah, thing I, I want that, anyone to sure. think is that I'm just asking them for something. Though. Mm. Yeah. That's the last thing That's I want. That's when you sh- give them free things or yeah. money. That's fair. Yeah. That's I'll fair. pay you to come to my show. Maybe uh, maybe not like that far, far, but the right. you know, but the pennies the pennies are pinched. You know, we are not a very yeah, rich band, so you gotta pay I attention to that kind of thing. You can't just be like, "Hey, do us this favor for just a shirt or whatever," because yeah. every shirt is like. As, you know, Kurt X amount of money for us, you know, money. like if yeah. we don't sell that shirt, we may be missing out on like you know some profit. Well, and so that... so like let's think of it this way: like, like say you guys have a headliner show, mm-hmm. you pretty much have full control over like guest list things of that nature, sure. right? So, for example, like if you're making like this deal with a local mm-hmm. and saying like, "Hey, go pass this out," blah 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 blah, and then like you can you can basically be like, "Hey, we'll send you X amount of flyers, like pass these out and." Tell people like if they, you know, reach out to us, like we'll just let them into the show or whatever. Mm, fair. It's a street yeah. team, shit that like used that. To be normal, like, or even like, hey, if they message our band account before the show, we'll give them two dollars off or whatever. The yeah, fuck that looks we can like. have like, or, egg, or yeah. like, you get a free sticker or something. Yeah, for like sure. little things like that that entice people to. Yeah. To be like, oh, okay, and then yeah. like that makes them want to come up to your yeah. merch table because they want to claim their free sticker and for sure. You know, they and then message, you, have, you make yeah. that connection. You can talk to them and like whatever. Yeah, they're not going to message your Facebook page if they like. They're probably going to like it too, like yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah, Just no, like, absolutely. I, I, I understand. There, that there are ways to do like those tr- strategies and mm-hmm. still try to find like. Yeah, there's the there's just the fine yeah. line. You know, you just yeah. got to make sure you're not just blankly reaching out for pe- like Again, help from people. That's like, following blah, blah, blah. it up at the show and saying like, oh yeah, your you know Jennifer. Yeah, I saw your message. Like, yeah. thank you for reaching out. Like, yeah. thanks for coming. For like, sure. That's where you, you've you already made that connection, and then next thing you know, like it's real, and you're talking to that person, yeah. and then they're going to follow you, if even, regardless of whether they like your music or not, probably. Yeah. Like, they're going to be like, these guys were just nice. genuinely They were nice, cool, yeah, you know? yeah, for sure. Like, they that's did this happened. cool thing, blah, 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 and that's blah. The, that's the, the, the thing, show. that's the big thing about, like, I, like, I stress, like, the genuine connection there, is yeah. just because, like, if we want to create, like, like, we've been just harping on for the last you hour a uh, yeah. community you, you know if you want to create, create that, that genuine feel, connection yeah. if yeah. they never show up yeah for sure but man. That's, they don't that's know about it point yeah for sure and if they're not already following you i promise you they don't know or about just it. go that's there fair. and kick ass and they'll follow you anyway 
I mean, they're, six they're, months they're, later, when their friends like, like, you know what, that last show I went to, this band played, and <laughs> yeah, yeah, you see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you you. It There's may definitely come a way off to weird get and like spammy yeah. at first, but it's your intentions you and what you do cut. whenever you yeah. get them in the room. It's just a part of like looking at all the dynamic ways to promote and to get yourself like mm. to yeah. where you're trying to go with your like. And since it is a personal thing, everyone has the ability to figure out what that looks like for themselves. For sure. How you approach it can even depend on the person you're talking to. True. Mm-hmm. You know, True I feel that. like it's just something to look at as talking to a human being. And yeah. like that's that's the most important. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you have someone already that's down there point. that knows you and can advocate for you, and like they already go to that venue, or that's they don't live in. far from it, like that's your end. <laughs> like they already know the people to yeah. tell about it. Yeah. Ideally, you're absolutely right. And you already that. have yeah. that connection with that person. Yeah. I'm not so, disagreeing with you about that at all, for sure. For sure. Uh, same thing in Tulsa. Like you guys are friends with like Rose Gold and various mm-hmm. other yeah. bands. Yeah. And, like Gopher Gold's the same way. Like, like that's a missed opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. Which like that show should do really well. That shoe like, should be fine. Yeah. Shoe, um, yeah. Shoe. Very excited. I said that shoe should that be shoe fine. fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but just saying that show should be fine is that enough? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. For sure, it's not. I understand that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, these are all good good questions to be posed for sure right now. <laughs> I have a lot to think about, as per usual. You you have a bunch yeah. of left no. This is why I like thing. doing like, things with Kurt is because he makes Kurt me makes think about think. things I don't normally think about, so, which that's is true. good. And that's Kurt, that's a no big shit. thing also. also in true. in when you're first like coming up as a band and like yeah. having the year like we had this last year, is we were finally surrounded by people who posed the question of like. Well, how are you doing things? Yeah. What are you going to do you next? Why are you doing Why that? Why are you doing this? Do you think that's actually <laughs> yeah. a good idea? <laughs> Being you like, know, what do you think you're going <laughs> to get out of this kind of question? Yeah. Then you really take the step back to be like, okay, like, what is this move I'm trying to make here? And like, why am I doing it? Mm-hmm. And if you're and trying to play music, you should always have a fuck ton of things to think about. Yeah. And figure oh, out. Yeah. If you don't, you're you should be borderline stressed the fuck out all the time. All the time. <laughs> Honestly, you should be more stressed out about the business side of this than you are like writing yeah, music. like oh, the music. Totally, the music dude. is the thing that like excites us and makes it fun for yeah, us. Playing the, the shows part. is like, yeah, it is and that's why you go hard g- during shows genuinely. is because you're already just so stressed out about getting yourself there and making sure everything's gonna be okay that you finally yeah. have like 30 minutes where you just get to fuck it out. That's you right. know, fuck, fuck it out. out. You do so much <laughs> crash for that cast. 25 minutes. Fuck it out. You know, <laughs> he stabbed a knife into the table. <laughs> I've been over here whittling on this, uh, <laughs> on this uh, like knot. Hey Corey, same goes for you. What? You got some shows coming up. Fuck it out, man. February Fuck 7th out. and 8th. The Plug them. They already the announced you haven't talked about them. Uh, yeah, I haven't. No, I haven't. Plug them. On this Crashcast Plug podcast oh, that yeah. people no, listen to? Yeah, you're right. What are we talking about? Man, uh, give me Eyes that up shit. <laughs> <laughs> Eyes Up House with Honoré and Pedal Weather now. The drummer Fuck can't yeah. do it for the other one. They share the same bones. drummer. Sad. Huh? Very sad. Not the drummer, awesome. the Man. guitar oh, singer guy. Yeah. So okay. Wait. So they, you said they're, they're, both gonna, they're on the I, they're on the Eyes Up show. Yes. Yeah, so it's Pedal Weather, Honore, and My Hands to War. That's at the That's our up first house. house show ever. It's nice. going to be insane. Yeah. Very excited. Uh, everyone, come out. It's free. Please bring at least a dollar for the touring band. They Donate. can come all the yeah, way from dude. Memphis. If and then we're playing in their hometown at the High Tone the next night. Fuck yeah. yeah. Sweet. Those are going to be sick. Yeah. yeah, but pedal weather. It but we're was, also playing two not. different sets, so there you go, Kurt. If you're interested in going all the ass way to Memphis to pay money to Memphis see us play, is only two hours. Uh, that's what f- I told him, and he was like, yeah, "I no, fucking nobody's going." Yeah, that's not that bad. Jeremy's <laughs> coming with us, and Kaylee's coming with us. What days did you say those were again? It's seventh and eighth, seventh of February. And eighth? Yeah. Fuck yeah, those are gonna be sick. That's oh, it's gonna be fun as fuck. I'm glad I'm to the see house y'all. Show, I mean, high tone, yes, great, hey. but the house show thing is like, wow, I can't believe we're gonna do that. It should be cool. House shows can be. I think it's gonna be. Well, we're bringing a free our, one too. Bringing, might pop off more than you'd expect. Our, our we're bringing our PA system. A free and, my hands of war show, and we're miking. That's a lot. Yeah. You're getting your dollars worth the there for sure. And pedal weather's on that shit, and they're probably sick. Ten years. First free my hands of war show in probably ten years. That's a good show. That's awesome. for free. For free. Come on. Yeah, <laughs> it's probably gonna get rowdy. Are you kidding. Also, we're gonna actually mic stuff. And we're going to have monitors. Ooh. In the Eyes Up house? Yeah. You're going to mic dude. drums? Kick. Just the kick? Nice. Yeah. Well, yeah. my snare's a fucking cannon. So yeah. <laughs> Taylor's with that new head on it's a fucking cannon. Oh, yeah. What'd you get? It's the Evans HD Dry. Nice. That's what yeah, I, I use sometimes. It. it goes As boom. tight as it goes. Snappy. It I sounded between good in that he studio. Would, he would buy a loud-ass snare head right before it. Mm. He was going to take it off and put his old one back on there. I was like, I No, I wasn't going to do the snare head, but I'm doing all the other ones. 
<laughs> what, the kick no, drum? you were going to take it off for before the music video. No, not the snare head. You're keeping that f- f- indefinitely? Yeah. Good. <laughs> I like it. Are we it. talking about the kick drum It was head? very loud no, in my the, apartment. No, the snare. Oh. It's very... Yeah, and in Kurt's studio, that big fucking tall <laughs> open room. It sounded That fucking thing was just like... Too. Boom. Yeah. I, I would love to track drums in that room. Not All we did today was just play through the song. I listened to the track, and they played... Nothing. To you. To yeah. Taylor. <laughs> so they just to listened Taylor. to me play yeah. the song like six or seven times. <laughs> it was loud. I was not prepared like that because they, you know, Every I'm facing away hit, from, yeah. T- yeah. There was shots where Kurt would be like right in my face and I'd be like trying not to just be like, like flinch <laughs> super hard. Because every time I'd be like, bang, <laughs> bang. And I'd just be like, <laughs> and I knew when they were coming and I could not be prepared for it. <laughs> Love that shit. So yeah, we're gonna try something different. Also, Todd, uh, the the one stipulation I had to playing a house show with that mm-hmm. band in particular was that he had to cook a hot dog and hand it to a random guest. So fantastic! I like that you guys do that. A fully kind of made thing. hot dog. If you come to the show, maybe I want a hot dog. <laughs> Very nice. Y'all definitely. I like that y'all set goals for sets, even if it's something just like weird like that. Yeah, yeah. You know, Todd's whole I'm gonna crowd surf from the stage to the bar and back. He did that Very twice. Cool. Yeah. And because that guy's fucking insane. Hey, he <laughs> Didn't he surf someone? He like he surfed. was on his feet. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. at the cover show, he was trying to surf on top of a crowd surfer. Yeah, amazing. He did for a that's minute. crowd interaction right there. Yeah, you know, <laughs> that's, you got, you that's a moment. That's, that's a memory. That's that how is you cra- do it. Your feet were on his back. Like <laughs> we, we always say, we take things so far that eventually we're just gonna have to start fist fighting each other on stage just yeah. to make a difference. Just to make it show. exciting. <laughs> like make it just on the next just level. Off the just top like. Rope. <laughs> what what's the one thing you haven't done? Is fist fight each other. Fist fight each other on stage. Flame We've been thrower. close, <laughs> but for different reasons, huh? Flamethrower. There you go. Oh, Will's got tall ceilings too. Don't no. Don't start <laughs> doing. Gosh, don't give him any ideas. Do some fireworks or something. No, bro. I got connections, oh man. I'll bring I'll bring all the crazy shit up. <laughs> you should all you should all get those Spider Man silly strings. <laughs> oh yeah, and just that's spray the better. whole crowd. We. We were gonna do the little <laughs> confetti cannons and, and for stuff Corey for let us. for the MCR show, but we that didn't pan me, out. Dude, sprayed shit all Corey over wouldn't let us do fucking confetti. No, fuck no. Uh uh-uh. uh. would have been so cool. Well, that's because I spent a fucking. Well, I didn't, but Stan and Justin spent hours cleaning up the last one. No, that's we fair. Cleaned it up. Oh yeah, if I would have if I would have done it, I would have cleaned it, it up. It would look so sick. It would have been so been tight. Cool, but no. Just that curtain comes down cool. and oh, this confetti dude. blasts everywhere. And let's talk about how that's exactly how MCR started their set yes, when they did their reunion show. Literally the show. same thing. That shit was fucking wild. Much bigger. Curtain. They fucking saw our, our yeah. yeah there was well, a few more thousand in there than sh- ours. And not painted. fucking me and Chance spray painted it on there the night before. <laughs> <laughs> our house hey, smelled like spray paint for like so good. Two for days. like paint uh, forever. Awful. I remember oh, like two waking weeks. up the next day and that smell still lingering throughout the entire house. I was like. Completely, I'm, I'm 100% convinced y'all are the only band that ever did a curtain drop in Vino. That's fucking really? Someone told me someone else has, but really? I, they didn't reference who okay. or when. Or... Did they do it I as good as we it. did, though? It was Green Day. <laughs> oh, it was, no, it wasn't Green Day, because that set's on YouTube. You can go watch it. Oh. oh. I watched but, that the other fun day. fact, that stage is still actually underneath there. We That's found it really when we cool. tore out the old one and we left didn't it. Didn't y'all find, like... Old was it an old Green Day set list? No, or something? it was a Clash cover set. It, was a Clash it wasn't cover. even yeah. a Clash. Okay, cover, uh, we found like an old Warped Tour laminate, a bunch of other shit. I have a you box found in Eric Clapton's house guitar. Of all, like, I just remember <laughs> like right after Clapton? y'all did that, I saw yeah. someone. I think Stan posted like a very old Vino's yeah. Green Day like flyer or yeah, set Green list. Day was, it was yeah. a flyer. That's on the wall. That's on the wall. Yeah. Okay, I was wondering because I I saw that like right after y'all did that. I was like, there's no like, did they seriously yeah. find that shit under there? We did find the stage. We found a stage. Under a stage, and let's talk about it. so and much. And a grew. toilet hole. That's why that back room always used to stink. Now it's sealed up. There's a shitter, an open shitter <laughs> hole underneath that, where you go down the steps to the green room or the drum hole. That was the a dungeon bathroom. hole. Is it the so poop-poo? I could poo poo in there, and nobody would know. <laughs> no, well, no, but it's open. Honestly, so. it would still be convenient if that was yeah. a bathroom. Oh, honestly. that'd be amazing. <laughs> like, just get your pre-show <laughs> dump out of the way and then pull up, pull <laughs> your pants up and get on stage. Though, like, like amazing. Don't even wipe. <laughs> <laughs> no doors, no walls. Yeah. Just fucking open. Just poo. <laughs> just sorry, <laughs> the, the drummer <laughs> back there, just like every fucking time, man. <laughs> 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 no, but I mean, like. 
geez, everything got better. Even Vino's stage and sound and lights and like huh? playing a show at Vino's now compared to like when we started playing shows at Vino's. Uh, just even a year ago. God yeah, tier. Yeah. Like what is going on? Yeah. Like when we that was a the cover show was our first show we played on the new stage, or was it not another fest? Not another fest. Not another sure. fest. I remember at Not Another Fest, we kind of like oh, that's right. felt yeah. it out. We got yeah. to be like, oh, so this is like what We're the like, new stage oh is God. like. The, the fl- yeah, the floor yeah. wasn't bouncing oh. under my feet, and the, it sounded great. But then we got to go do like full production, everything mm-hmm. with the new sound and the new stage, and it was just ridiculous. It's fucking crazy. It just, Vino's can do even more than it could before now. Yeah. So Hell like, yeah. The level of show they can throw in that small room <clears throat> is just... Incredible. Yeah, now it's just a money thing. It's, now now they just it's need like, to make the walls wider. It, exactly. <laughs> yeah. well, I said it. I was like, if Vino's <clears throat> bought a bigger room and a bigger restaurant and just expanded what they did, they could be it hands would never down. Work. It would never work, would but like it would just. It would I feel work. like they could just easily be like one of the bigger. You, you don't want to have the state. the back the back thing the backyard whatever the deck. You'd have yeah. to just go over. You'd have to just brick over. Well, isn't it yeah. a historic building? So it'd yeah. be like impossible for them to be like, they wouldn't yeah, even allow sure. it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. wouldn't even allow it. Sure, you could put it in a and then, doorway. And because of that as well, you have yeah. like Plus the impossible have, time to be like, well, we could move. Plus you have the but that would be, no one there. would want no, that. That would be the same. Yeah. Yeah. That's the fair. Same. But I just, you know, like if they could, man. The only thing that might could work is buy the back parking lot. No, not the back parking lot. The building next door and turn it into just a venue. Like the weekend theater. They did like the restaurant no, across no, no. the, the street. And the next door. Yeah. Oh, on the other side. On of that. the other side. Yeah. The art was that the, the, the art theater? outfitters? Yeah, art, oh, the art, art outfitters. You know, so then when they had bigger bands, they would just use that room. The That's bigger. what a lot of places do. In, like, like, they have a bigger room. Yeah. yeah. They'll have like they'll have the small room, and then they'll have a, either a bigger yeah, like room or like an outdoor Outland. venue, and then just put a walkway, a breezeway between the two, and then that's bus park. Outland Ballroom also has the Outland Complex has like Rocket Town, Rocket Town, High Tone. A bunch that of way, it's still the that. same location and same building and everything. Yes, I mean you but could do a different building, even if it's especially if it's right just, next door. Just buy the back parking lot from THV Eleven, put an outdoor stage, and just fucking the fence is already there. Yeah, but Oof. parking. Would be, fuck parking. Who gives a oh. fuck? That's your problem, dude. Did you the see parking the parking would be the same? The park where you parked before yeah. was kind of a. I've nightmare. gone to yeah. venues that are like just that that I had to park like. So far away. Yeah. Growlers in Memphis is the same oh, way. They don't have a parking in big oh, towns. Don't give a fuck awful. where you, you park. They don't, like, yeah. Wait, you have what? to park like by the college. You have to park in people's, like, uh, like in their driveways almost. I always have to park by the, like, across the yeah, street. Yeah, Growlers doesn't have a parking lot, like and they host huge shows there. Who? Growlers, Growlers in Memphis. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've mm-hmm. seen Knoxville. They have, like, a little there, side spite. parking lot, and that's strictly for the bands, and then there's, like, a gas station right there. Yeah. I guess I've never been there. It's tiny. There's no parking. Yeah. There's no parking at High Tone either. It's a fucking strip mall. Yeah, Venues exactly. just don't have parking. They make you walk to stand. <laughs> Is there anything else you guys want to talk we about? I want you to get man. Um, I just, think that covers. I mean, we've much. talked about a lot. Oh, yeah. Say good night. Bye. Just that we're really excited for this year. We're really excited to see what Arkansas has to bring, and just everywhere else we go. And Thank we you. hope y'all are excited for everything we got going on. I'm yeah. excited to see the new bands coming out too. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be super. There's sick. a few coming out this year that I know about. So. Yeah, and you never know. Yeah, you don't know who else is going to just start and, one yeah. randomly. Yeah, and, and just thank happens. you to like everything that we've been allowed to, or ev- everyone who's allowed us to experience everything we've experienced so far. Absolutely, like, this yeah, last year because yeah. it was yeah, already you, like Kurt. more than we expected. Thank so. you, Corey. Yeah, I mean honestly, thank you, thank you guys. Shout you out guys Nathan, yeah. like Na- Nathan Close, close. Nathan mm-hmm. Close. Shout, shout out Go for Gold. Shout Gold. out My Hands to War. Shout out. Feast Fest, shout Little out Rock. group messages. Shout out Little Rock, Arkansas. Shout, shout out Central Little Arkansas, Arkansas, yeah, man. Central Arkansas. Yeah. Like we they love just, all of you. We shout weren't out. sure at the beginning of last year, like if this was a place like that was gonna feel like home for us yeah. a- ever as a band, and it's just like bar far and beyond become mm-hmm. that for us. Like we'd never not call this home now. Like so, oh, it's yeah. just it's definitely like. We're we proud really appreciate to say it. This yeah. is where we're from. Oh, me too, man, for sure. But I always have been. I love yeah. this place. Absolutely. Shout out Anthony. As like I moved here from uh, a different Anthony, state. I'm glad so we got like, to play shows for him. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, I didn't uh, have that experience of like being from right. here. So like being able to call this home and make it home away from home, especially like since this is the first place I've lived, like not living with my parents. I had to become adult and do like big boy right, stuff yeah, to yeah, move yeah. here and stuff. So like to make this like a home and have like the family I've yeah. been able to create over the last like year has been ridiculous. So like just we really appreciate everybody and it's like cool, what man. we've been given, fuck yeah, and hope Absolutely. hope that we can just continue to create 
bigger, better things this next year for I'm everybody. To it. And, and he is too. That's why I say I hope. And uh, I don't even have to say that, Corey. I know. Tour in February, new yep. song and music video in March. Tentatively. Right. Yeah, Ten- well, it'll, it'll happen in March for sure. We just don't have a day. Right. But tour will be in February. So. Tour is Fucking a. death. Tell everybody February. where to find all the shit, the links and all that stuff. <laughs> Man, you can find links. Uh, Passcomfortband.com. Passcomfortband.com. Yep. The website, Spotify. baby. Pass- Damn, y'all have a website? It's all sure on there, do. baby. Yeah, we've got a merch Smart. store on there, too. By We're going to be putting up merch soon. We're going to put all our leftovers from this last year that we've got up on there so you can get stuff for the cheapity cheap real soon. And cheap, be cheap. on the lookout new for shit. new merch, new, merch new everything, designs. and okay, go man. check out all of our shit. It's all on there. Like There's Spotify. links to Spotify everything. on there. iTunes. There's a calendar that we're going to put the shows on. Yep. The Stream the fuck sick. out of our Spotify, That calendar's please. fucking awesome. Kurt helped us put that together. You can go to the calendar on our website, mm-hmm. and the dates that have show pictures on them, you can click on it, and it'll pull up all the information for the show we're playing that day, yeah. where it is, and where sick. it's at. So yeah. you're ever wondering... When Past Comfort's playing next. Or go, where they played. Or where we have played, what we got going on. Go check out our website. It's That's all on badass. There. Yeah. As soon as our music video is done, we'll have that up, like have a link for that uploaded that to That will YouTube. also be on there for sure. Yeah, yeah we're going to get some things going on the YouTube channel pretty soon. Yeah, we got a lot of shit The good old YouTubes. Soon. Good old mm-hmm. boob tube. So. Yeah, so thank you guys. Thank you, yeah. yeah. Thanks yeah. for having us on here, Corey. Anytime, my friends. Love you, brother. Literally anytime. All right, we'll see you in nine Shout out to Corey. Week. Shout out to Uncut Gems. <laughs> I still haven't seen it. Probably won't until I've seen it. I'm remodeling a house. Leave me alone. Anyway, <laughs> I'm on Crash Cats Pod and on Twitter it's Crash Cats Pod One. The letter, no, the number, not the letter. Sorry, I'm, I haven't had a lot of sleep here lately. What if we change? Same. It? We, I mean, we could, but you can't have Crash Cast because it's taken by a guy who had a podcast that was about airplanes. Mm. Did the airplanes crash? Did they crash? Yeah, well, <laughs> that doesn't sound like a good name. I don't know. He made, he made two fucking episodes five years ago, and it's still the domain is taken. So the podcast crashed. Yeah, the, the yeah it was Pod clearly crashing. a stupid fucking podcast. But this one's slightly less stupid, and thank you guys so much. Congratulations on all the success. Thank, thank you, you so future much. Future successes. and Everybody, you. Uh, if that's it, we're good? Absolutely. All right, man. Thank you for listening.